And good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Saudi Stadium, the home of the Ohio Wesleyan Battling Bishops. My name is Steve Geiger. With me today is Charlie Beaver. Charlie, how are you doing today? Hey, we're going, we're going fantastic. Hey, we're going fantastic, Steve. Uh, beautiful day for football. It's football weather here. It sure, it sure is. It's freezing out there, Charlie. We had about 35 degrees on my car, and then we've got a nice wind coming from the south. It is. I'm glad we're up here in the press box. Yeah, press boxes are nice and balmy, 75 degrees, and... Uh, you know, we're going to take a full advantage of that and watch these players out here in these conditions. This is football weather. I mean, it's getting towards the end of the season. Uh, most coaches at this point know their team strengths and weaknesses. And, uh, you know, this matchup today is, uh, is unbelievable. So we got Ohio Wesleyan coming in five and two in the conference, six and two overall. Denison six and one in the conference, seven and one overall. So Denison sharing first place with Wabash right now. So it's a really important game for the NCAC and for Ohio Wesleyan having a home game against the leader in the conference today, Charlie. Yeah, there's a lot on the line. Both teams are very similar. If you look at the stats, Steve, you see that. Uh Denison averages right around 200 yards on the ground, and then they average 200 yards in the air, so that's a very, uh, you know, well-balanced offensive machine, and they have three players that are very legit, possible All-American candidates, and uh, we're, we're going to have some fireworks today if the stats prove to be right, Steve. Yeah, we sure will. So Drew Dawkins is the sophomore quarterback that leads the Denison Big Red. Drew da uh, Dawkins is fifth in the NCAC in passing yards at 195.3, second in the NCAC in 15 touchdowns per game. So he'll be the leader there as the quarterback. And then you go to the running back, Alex Minton, senior running back, leads the NCAC with 131 yards rushing per game and 14 rushing touchdowns per game. And it doesn't stop there, Charlie. Then you go to the wide receiver. Peyton Vining as a junior, he is first in the NCAC at 97 yards per game and six touchdowns. Yeah, well, well let's just start with number 32, Alex Menton. He's a senior running back, excuse me, he's 5'10", 212 from Bethel Park, Pennsylvania. And you know, Pennsylvania just breeds football over there. And he He's decided to make the trip. Uh, he sure, he sure does. Get back to that. Yeah, let's take a, let's take a pause for the playing of the National Anthem. under the direction of Dr. Richard Edwards. Per 
game and touchdowns per game. Yeah, Alex Menton, you know, he's a senior and he's a, he's their workhorse and, and their offense starts with him, uh, you know, starts with the running game because if you can sustain a running game, it really brings that defense up and really opens up the back end on the offense. Yeah, Dennison coming off a 42-7 win over DePaul last Saturday. Alex Minton ran 27 times for 151 yards. Yeah, he, and I'm sure he woke up uh, Sunday morning and, and got the ice packs out and, and he got his body prepared for today. That's football and that's, a, you know, they call him, the, they call that the bell cow of your offense. That sure and, is. And we got our eyes on Alex Minton. I'm sure Coach Watts does too. Well, yeah, Battling Bishop's not too shabby defensively this year, Charlie. They come in uh, only giving up 82 yards rushing per game and 12.6 yards per game. So that's going to be a, a matchup to watch with Denison being so strong rushing and then Battling Bishop's have a really good uh, rushing defense. Right. I thought at the beginning of the ste- season the strength of the Ohio Wesleyan's football team was their defense. You know, they got big guys up front and they got athletic linebackers and on the back end they got some guys that can make some plays. So Coach Watts, uh, I think if you had asked him beginning of the season and we've seen it, his defense was the stronghold and, and so far throughout the season he's probably been happily uh, pleasantly surprised about the way his offense has evolved. That's right. Yeah. So the defense they're giving up only uh, 12.6 points per game at, uh, and the offense is scoring 30.9 points a game. So that's pretty good also. Um, they're pr- relatively balanced, 200 yards passing, 157 yards rushing per game. Yeah, high wrestling really, you know, Coach Watts wants to grind the ball out and, uh, you know, run counter plays, run draws, and, and, you know, control the clock. So Dennison has won the toss, and it looks like they will receive. And uh, so he's talking about Dennison. Their defense also only giving up 12 yards, uh, points, 12 points per game. Also pretty balanced. But then offensively, that's where they, they really stand out, scoring 40.4 points per game. And they're like we talked about earlier, 222 rushing, 208 passing. Yeah, very, very well balanced attack. I'm kind of excited to see how they go about this. Whether uh, you know they, they go up tempo. Uh, and I'm assuming they do at times and, and want to see the adjustments a high wrestler is going to make uh, you know on defense to try to offset this high powered offense one, one thing we will know we'll see Coach Watts do is that the best thing you can help your defense with is that to, to control the ball and to control the clock and to keep that high-powered offense on the sidelines. Yeah, sure, yep, absolutely. So the Battling Bishops will kick off. Dennison will receive to start this first half and we'll keep, keep, keep an eye on it. We know senior Anthony Sanfilippo will kick do the kicking duties for the Battling Bishops. So again, Charlie, let's just kind of talk about uh, that for the conference, you know, Denison coming in first place in the conference, six and one overall. High Wesleyan in second, or uh, second place at five and two overall. Right, you know, if High Wesleyan can find a way to win this. You're tied, but you have that head-to-head, uh, you know, advantage, and it could come into play here. Today is a big day here at Selby, and uh, when's the last time, you, you know, something like this has been on the line for the football program? I, I don't know. Think I don't think it's been that long, but, you know, we're happy that that's the case today, Steve. Uh, two of the better players for Denison will be back to return the b- football. Number one is Dara Laja. He is a senior running back, and number 12 is Peyton Vining, the junior uh, wide receiver that we talked about earlier earlier today, so they, they are putting their best players on the kick return team. Here we go. And there's the kick, and that'll go to Vining. He'll drop back to about his two-yard line. He fumbles it. He picks it back up, and he'll try the middle. He breaks through. He's got a big hole to the 20, the 30 on the left side. San Filippo's the only one back that can make a play. At least he runs him out of bounds, and he'll go out of bounds at the 40-yard line. So how many times do you see that, Charlie, when somebody fumbles the ball, it just for some reason throws the defense off? Yep, it, it, it causes the timing of those guys coming down, those gunners coming down, and, and screws their timing up. And uh, Man, talk about not how you want to start the football game for Ohio Wesleyan, but... Uh, their defense is going to, you know, be tested early here. Well, sure will. And, you know, and they had him, it seemed like he had him pinned in at the 10, and he just kind of was real patient, and then he just picked his hole and just went right through all the way up the left side. What a big return. So they'll actually mark him out of bounds at the 43-yard line. So we'll get a chance to see this big red offense right away. Yeah, the, the big three, Drew Dawkins. We'll, we'll see what he's all about here. And Drew Dawkins is in the shotgun. He's got Minton behind him as the tailback. He'll take the snap, and he'll give the Minton up the middle, and not much there. Minton will fight, fall through for about three yards. 
Yeah, Drew Dawkins looks like, you know, he's in that shotgun, uh, shotgun formation, and he's, you know, he's going to have that option to hand off the football or keep the football high. weston has got to make sure they don't get sucked in because he looks very athletic. It looks like they're running the kind of like that zone read, and I know that Dawkins is – has, um, I'll have to get to his stats later, but he, did, he does run the ball well also. So he's a threat running, passing, or giving it to Minton. So it's a multi-threat offense. Second and seven. Motion. And he'll give to Minton again up the middle. And he'll keep it himself, try the right side, and he's chased down. Main. Nice job by the battling Bishops. That's the safety coming up, number 10, that makes the tackle. Yeah, Ryan Rubel, excellent tackle. And, and when you're... When you're facing teams like this and you have to make tap tackles out in space, Steve, well, you got to rely on sometimes just you're the only guy, you know, because everybody has responsibility. Excellent play, Ryan. Ryan, well, then we, our chief statistician here tells me that Dennison only had 10 players on the field for that play. <laughs> well, that helps out, too. We'll, we'll, you know, we'll take that formation all day long. Third and seven. Big play for the big red. Dawkins in the shotgun. Minton behind him. Bishops have been strong against the run. Dawkins will fake the run. He'll drop back the pass. He's looking left, looking right. No one there. He's, he's going to try to uh, scramble to the outside, and he's got room, and he will get the first down plus more. Nice job by Drew Dawkins. Yeah, you know, High Westland's uh, pass defense, you know, everyone was covered. He went to his first read, second read, third read. Unfortunately for High Westland, Mr. Dawkins is an athlete, and he had that left side wide open. When you talk to those defensive coaches, they talk about contain, contain, contain. You want to keep him in that pocket and not let him get out because once he does, he had that whole top side of the field to get that big first down. He'll turn, he'll give to Minton, he'll try the left side. Big hole, five, to seven, eight yards. Nice run by Alex Minton. Right. You can kind of see You can kind of see here in the first uh, two or three minutes of this football game, Steve, why this uh, Denison Big Red offense is explosive. Hey, when you have a quarterback that can run and it's a threat, that just adds so much pressure to the defense. Yes, sir. So give him eight yards to Minton on that second and two from the 22. If you're just joining us, 12.26 to go here in the first quarter. Dennison received the opening kick and is on the on the roll here. Second and two from the 22. Dawkins will give to Minton. Big hole up the middle again for Minton and he'll get about a plus 10 there. Another big run for Alex Minton. Yeah, Ohio, you know, Ohio Wesley's uh, their defense, uh, you can see they've already changed their scheme. They've kind of spread out their front line and opened up some holes. And, you know, defensively, you got to work from the inside out. You know, you can't be giving up them big 10-yard gashes up the middle because uh, yeah, them are demoralizing for your, your defensive unit. Yeah, big hole for Minton that time. He went ran right through that into the secondary before he got contact. So first and 10 from the 14-yard line. Dawkins takes his time back there. He'll take it. He'll keep it himself. Try the right side. Miscommunication. He looked for a pitch man. No one there. And nice job by the Bishops to throw him down for a big loss. Right. Uh, quarterback Dawkins went right. His tailback <laughs> Alex Minton went left. And he left his buddy out, you know, to hang out and dry. Great, and great job by the Wesleyan defense there. They needed that. They needed some kind of a negative play here to uh, stop the bleeding on this drive. And they'll give him a loss of nine. I'd love to be in the huddle and know which guy went the wrong way, right? <laughs> Yeah, nobody will, will, will fess up to that one. But uh, second that, second and long here, and uh, look for a pass play. You know, look for them, uh, Dennison, to take a shot in the end zone here. They got nothing to lose right now. Second down and 19 from the 22-yard line. Dawkins talking to his receivers. He'll take the snap. He will pass. Here comes the blitz. He's in trouble. He'll step up. And there you go. The Bishops will throw him down for another big loss. Nice. You talked about containment in that pocket. And, uh, and the pocket collapsed. And there was no breakdowns. Great job by the Wesleyan defense here. That's what, that's what they're going to have to do today. You know, they're going to have to keep him corralled. Uh, Lamar Jackson from the Ravens. You've heard sure. that name. Oh, my uh, goodness. He kind of reminds me of a mini Lamar Jackson. He really the way does. he moves. Yep. As soon as he saw that blindside blitz coming he stepped up and was looking to run it but like you called it perfect charlie there was nowhere to go big third down third and 20 from the 23 they'll take a loss of a yard on the play 
Dawkins taking his time. He's going to pass. He's got time this time. Steps up in the middle. There's the blitz, and he's in trouble. He'll step it out to the outside. Flag on the play, and he will try to scramble. He will not have enough for the first down, but we'll see what that flag is. Yeah, hopefully the flag is some kind of holding or uh, against Dennison. And there we go. There's the sign. It is holding against Dennison, and we'll see what Coach Watts does. He did point, so he wants to move him back because okay. that would be – they got to the 15-yard line. Even though it's fourth down, that would be an easy field goal from there. Yeah. So. Uh, that's one of them 50-50 decisions, you know. You, you trust your defense, do you, you know. You, you send them back, you hope to move them out of field goal range. But also, with this high-powered offense, you know, they can score at any time. So we'll hope, we'll see if this works out for Coach Watts here. So that is, it should be from the, um, where the hold took place. So that's going to move them. We'll see. It should it'll move them at least 10 yards back to make it third and 30, if not more. We'll see where they line it up. Yeah, one thing uh, the Wesleyan defense is going to have to continue to do is to pressure him in that pocket. Get somebody in his face uh, and get him out of rhythm here. So, cause yeah. it, he's a good enough athlete. He's going to make some things happen on his own. But, uh, you know, stand yeah, you back there and let him read our defense. That's right. You want to force him to move, and then, but then you got to keep the containment. Yeah. You know, even that time he got out, but he wasn't able to pick up the first down. So third and... And 30 from the 33. Yeah, they need to get to the three-yard line for the first down. This will be a big play early in the first quarter for both teams. Dawkins in that shotgun. And he'll take the snap. He's got time, and he'll throw it out. He's got a man open, and he overthrows him on that far side. And Bishops will be fortunate that he was unable to connect. Yeah, the uh, you know accepting the penalty paid off. Uh, I, the Wesleyan defense had number seven, Cole Nixon, back. He was just kind of playing center field. He wasn't going to let nothing get deep. Uh, Drew Dawkins went through his reads and decided to throw the out route uh, out in the flats and just, you know, was a bad throw. Looks like they're going to go for it here, Charlie. Fourth and 30, they're going to go for it. So they got to get to the three. So, I mean, if it's too far to kick a field goal, and if you punt it, they're probably going to have it at the 15 or 20. Right. So you might as well see what happens. So they got to get to the three-yard line, fourth and 30 for Denver. Denison. Bishops look like they're going to only rush three. It gives him plenty of time to look around. No one open. Now he's in trouble. He steps out. Here comes. Then he just chucks it. And Josh Heidel nicely done. Perfect play by Josh Heidel to knock that ball down. Very heads up play. You intercept that ball and step out of bounds there. And, and, and it's like a punt. Right, yeah. Uh, and then you, so you get the ball to 33 instead of at the 10. So great job by the senior Josh Heidel making a good decision. Speaking of senior, it's senior day here, Steve, and you kind of, you know, this kind of game, you rely on your seniors to make play like that. Great defensive stand by the battling bishops. Things were, uh, things were, weren't looking very good early here. I'm like, oh boy, I don't know how we're going to stop these, but uh, they changed some of their schemes and uh, contained him in the pocket a little bit, and let's see what the offense can do. That's actually Nick Heidel. I apologize to Nick Heidel, the senior safety making the play. That brings the offense out. Reese will throw, fires it across right away, and boy, there were some early contact and they're just going to say it's okay. Nice defensive play to break up the quick slant. Yeah, I, I like the play call. Uh, you know, you would you would think High Wesson would try to run the ball here on first down. They're going to be aggressive. They know they got to put up points today against this high-powered Denison offense. They sure do. So bring second and ten for the Bishops. Seen recent shotgun, man in motion. And he will give to the running back this time. Not much there. He'll bounce it to the outside. I believe that was Carlos Cintron. And he will only get a gain of two. Actually, it's Curtis Duran. Excuse me. Yeah, Ohio Wesleyan likes that three three back combination of Carlos Centron and Marty Sesma, Trey Dixon, Curtis Duran. And the four, maybe four, but it uh, is. He keeps everybody fresh. Rotate them in. Yeah. So third and nine now for the battling Bishops. 840 to go here in the first quarter. Zane Reese in that shotgun. He'll take the snap. He's going to pass. He's going to have to roll to his right. There's no one open downfield. He's waiting, and there's still no one open. He'll just have to throw it out of bounds. Yeah, Dennison did a nice job. They had two safeties back deep. Uh, uh, nobody was open. You know, no, one. Had, we could see up here. You could see there was just nowhere to go with the football. All the receivers went left. He had one receiver to the right. He's just well covered. A smart decision by... Uh, Reese on that play, and uh, we're going to punt it away. They will. So Bishops go three and out. Not what you want on your offensive start. Back deep for Dennison at number three, Francis Fay, and number 10, Corey Schwartzmiller. 
there's the punt by Nick Heidel, and he will angle it towards Francis Fay, and he drops it and lands on it at the 25-yard line. Yeah, Nick Heidel, not only is he an excellent free safety, he's also an excellent punter, and that, that end-over-end type punt, uh, you know, it's tough to receive back here, especially it's a little windy, it's a little cold, and uh, the fellow from Denison did a nice job of just uh, get jumping on the football. Yeah, that's what you have to do. And they're actually going to move it out to the 26, so first and 10. And the breeze is blowing uh, from south to north here, so it's behind the Bishops. It's in the face of Denison right now. Yeah. So the Bishops have done a nice job. There's not been anybody open for Dawkins to throw to when he's on offense yet. First and 10, got the ball at the 26. He will turn, he'll give to Minton up the middle and another huge hole and he gets out to the 41. He'll pick up about 15 yards before Nick Heidel takes him down. Yeah, left guard for Dennison just uh, blew open a big hole. Me and you could have ran through that one, Steve. And that's not how you want, uh, that's not the yardage you want on first down. Uh, I don't think I could have got 15, but I might have been able to get about five before uh, and they'd have to call for the ambulance. Right, that's kind of how the, the, the first drive started off for Dennison. They kind of gashed in the middle and then went outside and you know coach watch made some adjustments and uh, another big hole for Minton to the right side he'll pick up another 10 yards boy Nick yeah. Heidel is your leading tackler for the Bishops right now that's yeah. not good you don't want that uh, Minton's 5'10 212 uh, it looks like he's put together pretty good, and he don't look like, doesn't look like he's very slow either. No, he's uh, not. He is. Yeah, he seems to. You know, he, he kind of disappears right now. He's in the huddle, and he kind of disappears with all the bigger fellows around him. So he's kind of hard to find, and then he's on you pretty quick, and then he's strong on top of that. Right. So Dennison on the move again. They got the ball into the Bishop territory at the 49-yard line. First and ten. Looks like the Bishop's mostly man-to-man -man on those receivers, Charlie. Yeah, they want to they want to play some man-to-man -man that way. They, you know, they can bring the safeties up, and you know, you want you want uh, Drew Dawkins throwing the football. You right. know, you're, you're seeing the strength of this football team is their running game. You know, you, you play man-to-man, -man, you bring them safeties up, and you think, okay, I'm going to pass. You know, you want them to pass the football, but right now they're having success going right up the middle uh, against this Wesleyan defense. Minton with another carry, six yards again on that play, second and four. You know, if you're playing man-to-man -man outside, hopefully you got more guys inside for the run. Right. But it, they haven't been able to stop this powerful big red offense yet. Second and four from the 43, 43-yard line. He'll give to Minton again up the middle. This time, Badley Bishops are there, and they'll throw him down for only a gain of one. Yeah, that was a nice play. I don't know if that was Cody Strait. Uh, couldn't see or Kyle Hogan on the, the defensive play there. It looks like is that 52? We'll have to see if he turns around or 53. There's black Ohio Wesleyan uniforms are difficult to see. Uh, it was a nice tackle by him either way. We'll, we'll figure out Daniel Woodruff. Daniel Woodruff, it was. Daniel Woodruff, okay. he's a senior defensive tackle from Cincinnati. So 52, Daniel Woodruff, nice play. So third and three, third and a long three. Bishop's showing blitz. Oh, there you go. The tailback yeah. moved. All right. Yeah, I mean, Dawkins does a nice job of keeping them in that, reading that defense, but sometimes, you know, those offensive players are ready to roll. You can only keep the horses in the stable <laughs> so long. You know? He's trying to get the high Wesleyan to jump offside, which is smart right. by him, but sometimes, just like you said, Steve, it, it makes your guys move. They're ready to rock and roll, and uh, that time it proved to be, uh, you know, five-yard penalty. Well, you know, and Urban Meyer was a coach at Ohio State. You'd see him on the sideline, and he was, con let's go, let's go. Yeah. He con Constantly, you know, you don't want to keep those players in that uh, stance too long. So now it's a third and eight. Again, the penalties backfiring against the big red. Third down and eight. Three receivers close to us. One at the top, Minton in the backfield. He's going to pass. He's got time again. Now he's going to try to scramble. Here comes Lee, and he'll throw it up and throw it out of bounds. And that'll be bringing the punt team out. Nice job by the Bishops. Right. They brought a four-man rush. And then... It they're able, they've been able to get pressure with just their front four there and allowing them linebackers to drop back in coverage, which uh, Mr. Dawkins hasn't seen any open receivers yet today. And, you know, I've got to give credit to the, uh, the guys up front, but also got to give credit to the guys, uh, you know, on coverage. A great defensive stand by the Bishops. Yeah, 45, Nate Lee was the defensive tackle. They got in his face, and again, they did a great job of containing the pocket because Dawkins was looking to dance out of there and nowhere to go. That'll bring out the punter. This is um, Calvin Montgomery, a senior punter. 
punter, and he will kick it high and deep, and that'll be Nick Heidel, I believe, that'll catch a fair catch it at the 12, and it looks like there's a flag right here, Charlie, in the middle of the field. Uh, usually I, a, f a flag in, that uh, in the middle of the field usually means some kind of a defensive holding. Yeah, there uh, it is, blocking the back or something, but... Yeah. Boy, when I looked down there, I saw, saw yeah. two Denison guys on top of one bishop, but I guess he <laughs> pulled one of them on top of him or something. Yeah, the good thing, it was after the possession sure. change, so they'll march him back, and High State's offense uh, is going to have to, you know, start way deep in their own territory here, and it's time for them to do something. That's here. right. Nick Heidel, fair caught it at the 13, so I imagine half the distance to the 6, maybe, or if it's just a 5-yard penalty, they'll move it to the 8. Let's see what they do. Yeah. And now they will go half the distance down to the six and a half. So Bishop's got backed up to the back. You don't want to go three and out here either, yeah. Charlie. But also, this is a good time that you may maybe take a shot here. Maybe take a shot here. Yeah, the Bishop's uh, got talented receivers. Zane Reese is a talented quarterback. Let's see what coach calls. Sesma goes in motion, and he will fire it out to Sesma in the flat. He catches it, and then he stumbles and falls right at the five, and he'll lose a couple yards. Yeah, not a real good throw by Zane Reese. Uh, kind of had to pick it up off the turf there, and by the time he got control, of it. There was a nice defensive play out there by Dennison. Yeah, Zane Reese had a little trouble with delivering the football, so now we go to second and 12, not the way he wanted to start. No, you know, the, the running game for high wrestling is you're going to have to be able to run the football a little bit today. You're Good. not going to just throw and throw and throw against this uh, stout, big red defense. Bishops with a late substitution. Maher Chalakian comes in and Carl, Curtis Duran goes out. Reese rolls to his left. He's in the end zone. Ooh, he fires it just in time. Cut catches the pass out to the 17. That is Sassoon Chalakian. Beautiful play. Yeah, senior Sassoon Chalakian, right? That's right. Uh, Zane Reese uh, stood in the pocket. He was Oof. under pressure, and he threw a strike here. He got, a, he got an excellent arm. So they're going to uh, do a measurement, I hear, think, here, Charlie. It's very close to the first down. It depends on where they mark the ball. And their discussion, and they are going to bring out the. Well, they're going to bring it all the way across to the other side, Charlie. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, if you're on the chain gang, this is your worst nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> you're freezing over there, now you got to make a, like about a 30 yard sprint to the other side. I don't think they have enough, but the nose of the football is right on the 17. So we'll see if it's, yeah. I think they're a couple inches short, but you never know when they stretch those chains. <laughs> yeah, out. right. Sometimes uh, they stretch to nine and a half, sometimes it's <laughs> 10 and three quarters. Well, they, they are the Ohio Wesleyan chain. So, uh, and they yeah, are going to yeah. give them the first down by the nose of the football. Yeah. So nice. Hey, that needed to happen. That needed to happen. Uh, now maybe you know you, you get that first first down in. Now you can start getting into a rhythm, running the football a little bit, uh, grinding this clock out, keeping that high power Denison offense over on the sideline over there. Boy, Saint Reese did not have any any more time than when he threw it because the pressure was coming and he was in his own end zone. So just in time, 4.34 to go here in the first quarter. Clock has stopped. Zane Reese in the shotgun. And he'll take the snap and fake the Sesma. He'll stand in. He'll look, ooh, and he will get thrown down, slammed down for a big loss on the play. Yeah, big number 59, Nate Cairn. Uh, smothered him in and got right in his face. Uh, Zane Reese had one-on-one -on -one coverage out here, uh, and I thought, you know, if he had one more split second, he was going to let it fly, and, and you know, it was going to be one of them 50-50 jump balls. And, uh, he just didn't have the time. So that's the one player we didn't mention in our pregame. Nate Kern is leading the Big Ten, or Big Ten, leading the NCAC in sacks. And then here comes Reese again, and he will fire it out to Sesma. And luckily it is broken up because that play was going nowhere. nowhere. But anyways, 59, Nate Kern is leading the NCAC in sacks with nine, and now he's up to ten after that play. Yeah, he's big, and he's athletic, and he's the real deal. This whole defense looks big and athletic to me. I sure do. Uh, they swarm to the football. You're not going to get too many open windows here if you're uh, the quarterback for Ohio Wesleyan. Nate Kern from St. Ignatius up by Cleveland. So he's uh, coming from a big power high school. So third and a bunch for the Bishops. Third and 18. They need to get out to the 27. And I hear Chalakian goes in motion. Reese will roll out. No one open. He's gonna, just going to have to throw it away. And it looks like it is incomplete. But even if it was complete, it would have only been enough to get seven yards. So Bishops went backwards. They got that first down, but then they went backwards. They're struggling against this big red defense. Yeah, if Zane Reese wasn't awake, uh, you know, start the game, these last three 
you know, three snaps, he's he's been hit pretty hard. So he's uh, awake now, right? He's awake now. Sometimes that really uh, gets you going here. Uh, That'll bring Nick Heidel out to punt, and both Big Red uh, return men are on the Bishop side of the field. So Big Red should have good field position. Heidel has plenty of time, and it is a high kick, and that'll be away from the returner, and it'll take a great Wesleyan bounce down to the 36, 37 yard line. What a punt by Nick Heidel. Yeah, it was excellent. They needed to t flip the field there. It just, felt, it just feels like Denison's spinning. 55 yard punt, and then also another flag on the play, so that'll probably go against Denison, so that might move them back. So Denison's yeah. been their own worst enemy so far with the penalties. Yeah, and, uh, and again, to get this field position flipped is big because uh, feels like we've been playing this whole game on the Wesleyan side of the football here. Wow, a 55-yard punt goes to the 32, Charlie, and then there's a 10-yard penalty for holding on the play, and that'll move it down to the 22. Boy, that's what you want. You want to talk about your your punter flipping the field. Yeah. Well, and then for why they only gave him a 5-yard penalty, so I don't know why that is, but so they'll mark it at the 27. Didn't holding always 10 yards? Well, sometimes <laughs> it is, sometimes it ain't. just depends. Uh, it's a good time right now for the uh, Wesleyan defense to be opportunistic. Uh, maybe get a loose football, maybe get an interception here. Uh, it would come up big. Dawkins gives the Minton. He'll try that left side. Another big hole, but he gets slammed down quickly, but he'll still pick up about four yards on the play. So that power running game for Denison is very effective. Yeah, that's the first thing you got to stop. I mean, we, we have to stop that first and then work. You know, outside in or after that. So their center 50 for um, Denison, 6'4", 240. And then their guard, 6'2", 250. So not huge by, um, you know, Big Ten standards and even college standards. Those guys are, aren't the tallest and biggest, but they're making big holes. Yeah, Andrew Zeller, so... You know, he's uh, very athletic, 240. He's athletic, too. Sure is. Second down and five for Dawkins. He will fake, and he'll pass it out. He's got his man vining a big hole, picks up a big block, and he will get out to the 50-yard line plus more before he is caught. What a very nice, nicely done there by the Big Red. Yeah, and, and I bet if we had a uh, replay, Steve, we'd, we'd see some kind of offensive pick over there. Oh, did you, yeah, you saw it too, huh? Yeah, <laughs> very, very popular now in football. You can be very discreet with these receivers, and it looks like they're blocking. It looks like they're going around, but that was just a blatant offensive pick. And it sure was. We've seen it up here, but, you know, first down, uh, Big Red. A big play. Gets him into the Bishop side again, and then here comes the Big Red. They'll give it to Minton. A big hole up the middle. He dances and jumps, and, and he's into the defensive backfield to pick up of eight. Yeah, I look for High Wesleyan here to start. Uh, bringing a middle linebacker just right over the center here because mm -hmm. uh, that's where you know that's where they're they're hurting the defense right now uh, we'll, we'll let Mr. Dawkins go to football, you know, but you have to stop that initially. You sure do, and, and they have not been able to stop the run, and that will bring up second and two. First, first rule, defensive football, you got to stop the run, and then another penalty for the Big Red, a man moves before the play. Uh, Coach Hatem over there, he's, I'm assuming he's ready to throw his headset in the ground because uh, you mentioned it earlier, Denison's own worst enemy is themselves right now. Mm -hmm. Don't beat yourselves. I, you know, I was listening to the Ohio state pregame on the way up and the maryland coach made a good comment he and his comment was we've beat ourselves more uh than other teams have beat us and and it's coming you know to fruition here with this uh, denison big red yeah the offensive tackle the man that moves is 6'1 235 again not big by college football standards so second and eight for the big red from the 42 yard line Dawkins takes the snap, and he'll give the mitten again. And this time the Bishops stand him up, but he keeps fighting and falls forward for three yeah. yards somehow. He's a good back. He keeps his legs moving. That was a good That was a good stop for Westland. Uh, what brings up third down here? Third and four. Third and four, and they're in four down territory, you would think. Probably, so. yeah. They didn't punt last time, so why would they punt this time? Right. Look for uh, Drew Dawkins here to do that option read here, run pass mm -hmm. option. Uh, don't let him get outside because he's very dangerous. So third and four, they've got the Bishop defense spread out again. They are spread thin across the width of the field. Here comes a late blitz. Dawkins will pass. Here comes and in that forces, blitz forces the pass. Fourth down, incomplete. Yeah, High Wesleyan brought pressure off the end. They showed a, a late safety blitz there. What's a good good defensive scheme right there. Forced a quick throw, a hurry to throw, and an errant throw. So 
Uh, wow, we're going to get to see the punter for the Big Red here after all. Yep, this is the second time for Montgomery. Calvin Montgomery, senior punter, will come out and punt it away. Remember last time Heidel took the fair catch That's at right. the 13. That's right. Watch the fake. Watch the fake. He should be <laughs> screaming, watch the fake here. This is great fake. Uh, you know, the yardage right here would, would yep. call for a fake. And the Bishops were in conservative, and the punt will go actually off the side of his foot, out of bounds, and the Bishops will catch a break there. It looks like Charlie went out about around the 20. Well, the coach hate him threw his headset down after that uh -oh. penalty. He's definitely going to throw it down after this because <laughs> it's probably only a net of 10 or 12 or 15 yards. It'll drive a coach crazy. Actually, they were from the 40, and they're going to mark it at the 24. So it's about 16-yard net. So, yeah. again, the Bishops catching some breaks here to see if the offense can do anything with it. Yeah, offense needs to uh, establish something, one That's thing right. or the other. It looks early like they want to establish the pass. Mm -hmm. They want to, they want to, you know, swing the ball out and they want to spread this defensive out to open up the middle for the run game. Uh, something's got to happen here, and I look forward to. So first and ten for the Bishops. Reese will take. He'll give it to Dawkins, there, and he'll try the left side. That's over. And nothing there. That's not Dawkins. That's number six for the Bishops. Dixon, Trey Dixon. Uh, his first carry goes for minus one. Yeah, Trey Dixon had big Logan Waylon Hennick out there pulling from him, and I thought, man, if he could just get behind him, follow mm -hmm. his block, but. Uh, Denison's defense very fast on the outside. All right, yeah, so, I mean, passing game not working for the Bishops. The running game not working for the Bishops here early in the first quarter. Ten seconds, the clock's running down in this first quarter. And looks like they will be able to get the playoff. Reese will take it. He'll give it to Dixon up the middle, and not much there, but he does pick up a couple yards, about two on the play, to make it third and nine after the timeout here. So that'll end the first quarter with a no score on the game. Zero to zero is on the scoreboard, and the Bishops will have the ball at the 25, third and nine. So, Charlie, what are your thoughts, you know, Bishops offensively, defensively, uh, for that first quarter? What do you think? Well, I think Coach Watts, if you, if you asked him, what, you know, if, asked him if the score was zero, zero after one, would he be happy with that? I think he would be. Uh, our impression, our, the feel up here is that you know, it's just like – you're holding that dam. You feel like the dam's getting ready to break here. Uh, the momentum has all been Denison. Sure has. Uh, but Ohio State's defense, uh, i got to give them credit. They, they've held the fort. They've done their jobs. Um, at some point, we're going to have to see a big play either way. That's you know, right. it's a tight game. Both teams are good. This is kind of what we expected. We've we seen, you know, how explosive Denison can be on some plays. And we also seen that Ohio Wesleyan's defense is for real. So, uh, young Mr. Reese here, the quarterbacks, we've seen him make a couple good throws. Uh, he's going to have to really step up and, and make a good throw here. The quick slant looks looks like it could be open on these, uh, in this defensive scheme for Denison. It's third down and nine, I believe, the big Bishops only have one first down. Reese will drop back to pass. Here comes the pressure. He's throwing it deep, Charlie, just like you called. And there's the penalty. The defender just would not let the receiver, Streb, get come back to the ball. Right. Uh, High Wesleyan had that same look on the, the prior uh, drive, and, but uh, Mr. Reese didn't have enough time. He had one-on-one -on -one out here, and he finally had enough time. And hey, sometimes you got to take a shot like that. You, sometimes you got to loosen that defense up and... and you know where this guy's from? Alex Balo is it from Concord, Ohio, Notre Dame. Is that it, your area? No, no. Concord. I thought you were from Concord, Ohio. No. Oh, what is it? New Concord, Ohio is down there. <laughs> <laughs> and I was at Notre Dame last weekend, so you, you was fifty. You had fifty percent of it right. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> New Concord, Ohio. New Concord, Ohio. Right. Home I, of the uh, famous John Glenn, <laughs> uh, the astronaut. So. All right, first yeah. and ten. So there's what you called for, Charlie. Big play. You throw it deep, see what happens. And the Bishops pick up another penalty, so five or six penalties against the Big Red so far today. First and ten from the 40-yard line. Reese will pass. He's dropping back. He's in trouble, and he'll be thrown down again. Yeah, that bull rush up front, and I think that's uh, that big fellow, Nate Kern. Nate Kern was there again, and so was 97, Nate Chase Strewing. Strewing. So both those big fellas, I mean, it looks like you know, they're rushing four. And boy, he, I don't really feel like Reese really had much time that time. No, he didn't. He had some receivers open, but all he was seeing was that big bull rush up front. Mm -hmm. Hi, Wesley may have to bring him back up, up there to help, uh, you know, with this pressure. Mm -hmm. uh, but with your, when you're getting pressure from only four, 
Uh, that makes it tough because you got seven in coverage. So first quarter stats do not favor the Bishops. Denison 19 plays 90 yards. Bishops 10 plays 4 yards. So they'll try the run. It'll be the right side. That's Cintron, and there is nothing there, and he will be taken down for a gain of zero, it looks like, maybe one. So we'll be at one yard, so it'll be third and 17 for the Bishops. Yeah, High Westland seems like they get one good positive play, and, and the next play is a, a, a loss of yards, and they just can't get that machine going yet. So Alex Minton, first quarter, Charlie, 68 yards uh, rushing. Peyton Vining, 22 yards receiving are the leaders for Denison. And Bishops, uh, St. Reese has had a 12-yard pass to Sassoon Chalaki, and that's about it offensively for the Bishops. Third and 17 from the 33. Reese will roll to his left. Here comes Kern, and he's in trouble. He'll just throw it up and out of bounds again. Boy, 59, Nate Kern has been in the backfield all game long. Yeah, Nate Kern, he's the real deal. You can see why he's leading the conference and sacks, and he's just all up in the quarterback's face and grill. Uh, Quarterbacks don't like that. <laughs> no, they don't like that. They get happy feet, and Zane Reese didn't have anybody open, so he just threw it away. Uh, let's punt the football. Our punter's really good, and, and maybe pin him back and, and count on our defense here. So Francis Fay number three, and Corey Schwartzmiller, number 10, back deep for the Denison. They're standing at their own 35. Here's the punt from Nick Heidel, and he will punt it high and deep. That wind knocks it down. Fay will run up to the middle. Ooh, he did fair catch it, but he will, he'll save about um, 10 yards by not letting that ball bounce, and it actually receives it at the 43-yard line. Yeah, you can see that wind is going to be a factor today. Uh, it knocks the ball down, didn't it? We seen earlier Denison had a chance for like a 47, 49-yard field goal, and they chose to go for it, uh, I think pretty much because of this win, because that's a makeable kick for an, uh, a college kicker. It is. All right, so Boyd Denison's in a great field position again at their own 42. Bishops have got to stop the run. Minton, 68 yards already on the day. Dawkins taking his time again. And another false start, Charlie. 34 moved. For hey, we'll the take it. We'll take it. That's <laughs> been our best offense right here. Uh, is the penalties by Dennison. Coach Hayden, we kind of joke, and, and he's he's getting creeping onto the field more and more uh, as these penalties start to evolve here for Dennison. Yeah, that was the 34 Sam Looker just moved early. He's a senior, and again, it's just sometimes you cannot keep your offense in that uh, stance for so long. Right. And, they and call it holding your water. <laughs> 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 it's tough. It it's is tough, tough to do tough. that. Yeah. So second, first and 15 from the 37 for the Big Red. And Dawkins again taking his time. He'll take the snap finally. He'll drop back to pass. He's got time. He fires it deep out to the outside. He's got Vining, and he'll catch it and pull it in at the 21-yard line. Beautiful pass from Dawkins to Vining. Yeah, beautiful pass. Beautiful catch. Uh, back in coverage for the Bishops. Cole Nixon, I think, if he could have just turned his head and got his arm up, he might have been able to knock that ball down. But... Uh, we haven't seen too many passes on nope. first down to kind of high west lane off guard there. Yeah, kind of lull you to sleep. Run, 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 run up the middle, and then boom, they go deep, and then it, it was a nice connection for the Denison Big Red. So first and 10 from the 23. For Denison, Dawkins taking his time. He'll fake the mint and he'll pass again. He's got time now. He's in trouble and he'll try to scramble out of there. Oh, and he takes a huge hit. Boy, that's why you don't want to turn your back, Charlie. Wow. Yeah, yeah. He'll only lose two, but man, he took a hit. Yeah, and this 30 degree weather, a hit like that Oof. really kind of rings your bell there. And, it sure uh, does. And good pressure up front by Ohio Wesley and good coverage in the, on the back end there and forced him to, you know, he wanted to throw the football and he forced him to get out on his feet here and. Uh, nice job defense. And well, a loss of three on the play. And that'll bring up second and 13 for Denison. Yeah, look for Denison. Just kind of pounded here with their big back. Yeah, they ought here. to. They've been hurting Bishops all game. So we'll see if they do that again. Second and 13. Dawkins taking his time. He'll give to Minton another big hole. Oh, man. And Dawkins will go. Minton, sorry, will go for about 15 yards right up the middle of the defense. Yeah, you, you just kind of had a sense that, okay, they threw the ball three times and they seen their quarterback take a shot. And, and they don't want to get him hurt when they got this big stud Minton uh, that's been running, you know, up the middle basically the whole game. 
teams. Yeah, I wonder if they get those smaller guys on the offensive line. I don't know how they're making those big, huge holes on the Bishops. I don't either. Um, Bishops' defensive line probably outweighs them by 30 yep. pounds. Yep. Yeah, they uh, must have good technique and uh, spacing. So first and 10 from the 12-yard line, and he'll give it to Minton again. He'll dance and push and fall forward for another five yards. Yeah, uh, you know, you mentioned the size of Denison's offensive line, and a lot of it is technique. A lot of it is just getting a body in, in a gap, and, and, you know, things happen quick. Split second, that's all you need for these backs to hit the mm -hmm. hole. So. Yeah, Minton is quick when he gets up in the hole. So they bring up second and five from the six-yard line. Denison is threatening the big battling bishops. 11.03 to go. No score in the game. Denison on the move. They get the wind at their back. You got to bring fullback in there now. Big 99 comes in. We'll see what he does. Awesome, taking his time again. Oof. All right, he'll give to Minton. He'll follow that big fullback, but the Bishops swallow him up, and he'll gain about two yards. It'll bring up third and two. Yeah, and big 99. He, he stood out like a sore thumb there. <laughs> uh, you knew they were going to try to run behind him. That's kind of what they call the heavy package. You bring in, you bring in an extra lineman type to be a blocker, and uh, you know, I, I, it's four down territory if, if your coach hate him here. You're just bringing the bodies in. You're going to try to pound it right, right into the goal line. I right, think can make a stand here. Uh, that would be fantastic. 99 stays in the game. That's Ben Cross, 6'2", 243 defense alignment. They'll give it to Minton again. He'll try the right side, big hole, and then he runs into a wall. And it's going to be close where they mark it. Let's see. It's right at the two. And we'll, I don't know if they'll have enough for the first down or not. Looks like he's going to be short. Uh, if I was a high Wesleyan, I would get ready for a, <laughs> for a run here. Yeah, uh, sure. Fourth and one from the three, two and a half. Fourth and one from the two and a half yard line. Let's see what Denison decides to do. They could take the points here, and they're going to keep their offense out on the field. And why not? The way their defense is played, if they don't get it, the Bishops haven't been able to move much. So. Right. I, I agree with the decision here by Coach Hatem. Uh, uh, let's see what High Wesleyan can do up front here. He'll give it to Minton. He'll try the right side. And oh, man. Touchdown for the Big Red. Minton, a three-yard touchdown run. Boy, the Bishops had it. Mario DeJoy got in there. He just could not bring Minton down in the backfield. Yeah. Hey, Mario DeJoy shot the gap. Uh, Dennison went off tackle. And... Uh, you know, good play call, good, good drive there, and you know, High Wesleyan gave up a score, but actually their defense, other than that first play, you know, played good. Uh, it was only a matter of time before you hold this high-powered offense. Uh, yeah, it's scoreless. But yeah, Alex Minton is leading the uh, NCAC 14 touchdowns. That'll give him number 15 on the year. The next closest rusher is at seven, so he d doubled up at plus one. So Alex Minton, very effective down there, and you can see why. The extra point is up, and it is good, and that'll make it 7-0 to zero for the Denison Big Red. Okay, well, the ice has been broken. Coach, <laughs> you know, Coach Watts, you know, I know he's been – you can just sense that he's very uneasy the way this game's been going. It's been very lopsided. Uh, you can only expect your defense to, uh, mm -hmm. you know – uh, be stout for so long here, and, and, and you know they've been they've been on the field most of the game. For so sure, far. have yeah. Denison's really controlled the time of possession in the first quarter, uh, 11 minutes, 11 to 43 to 317 time of possession. So that is huge. And and the start of the second quarter, I think they've had the ball most of the second quarter yeah. already. Also, so they are controlling the clock, controlling the field. So the Bishop defense going to have to talk about how to stop that run first, you know. I mean, if you're going to hit some big throws every once in a while, it's okay. But you got to stop the middle of that run. So lots to talk about on the sideline for the yeah. Bishop defense. They, you know, we talked, I mentioned earlier about maybe bringing a backer up to show that maybe this this hole was plugged and right. forced them to do something different. Right. They haven't done that. They, they've counted on them front four, which they're bigger than right. the Denison line, but it's still not working. So here's the kick. Bishops will field it, and it'll go out of bounds. Tree Dixon will let it go out of bounds and or into the, out of the end zone. So the Bishops will come out to the 20. Yeah, they may actually have some decent field position <laughs> here. Uh, they've been backed up. It's been <laughs> it's been an uphill battle so far. But uh, you know, it's early yet. It's early yet. Uh, you put a drive together and tie this ball game up, or at least get a field goal. Get your offense some confidence. Get your quarterback in a rhythm here. Give your defense uh, a chance to get a drink of water. Mm -hmm. uh, they got to, you know. 
So they're actually bringing it to the 25 on the touchback. Best field position, the Bishops got out to the 40 on that pass interference, but they haven't made it past their own 40. First and 10 for Zane Reese. He'll take the snap, he'll pass, he'll fire it out quickly, and the ball is batted out by Nate Kern. He is everywhere for the Big Red defense. Yeah, he's, he's wreaking havoc, a St. Ignatius boy. Uh, <laughs> they know how to play football oh, up there. Oh, my heavens, sure do. You hear, you hear about that school and, and everything, especially in football. Yeah, Bishop's just trying to do a little quick, quick out pass, and Nate Kern was not having anything of it. He knocks the ball down. Nate Kern is... 6-1, but he get his big, big hands up there and knocks the ball down. So second and 10 for the Bishops. And in motion for the Bishops. And a bunch of Bishops move. That's the first time we've had that. They had two or three guys move, so well, I'm not sure if that's the center or the Bishops. So what you don't need for the for your offense, second and 10 gets to become second and 15. Right. Uh, we've seen it so far. One positive thing, one negative thing. You go forward, then you go backwards. Uh, Drive a coach crazy. I'm sure he's going to make note of that and address that at halftime. Second down and 15 for the Bishops. Reese in that shotgun. He'll take, he'll pass. Boy, here they come right up the middle again. He gets some time. He steps up. He makes a connection at a Chalakian, and he'll try to fight for yards, and he'll get about eight yards on the play and bring up third and eight. Boy, this Denison defense is ball hawking. They're quick, aren't they? Yep. They, uh, they are the real deal. Um, that was Sassoon Chalaki in number 10 on the completion. He liked that he fought for extra yardage. Yeah, he, he's getting frustrated. He hasn't touched mm -hmm. the ball uh, very, very much today. And <laughs> he's, he, you can sense frustration from the Ohio Wesleyan offense. Yep, nice job by Reese to step up. Here comes the pressure again. Nobody open. And it looks like it's, oof, boy, Reese takes a big hit. I don't know how, what those, it's like a track start. That was Nate Kern again. They just sprint in there at the quarterback. Yeah, and Zane Reese is going to have nightmares of <laughs> Nate Curran being in his face today. There was some contact there. I thought maybe we'd see a flag there, but, uh, you know, we didn't. So the High Western has got a punt and repeat, uh, you know, process of what we've seen so far today. Well, Nick Heidel, definitely the MVP. He's punted a lot, and then he's the safety. He's been in now on a lot of um, <clears throat> plays defensively, too, more than he probably wants to be. So he'll take that snap and he'll punt it away. Nice, high, booming punt. And that'll drive. Oh, fumble. Ball's on the ground. Who wants it? There's lots of players there. Looks like Dennison got there first. And it's going to be at the 35, whoever has it. We'll see who comes up with it. It looks like three falls on it for Dennison. That is Francis Fay. I think he was the one that missed it in the first place. Right. And it's probably good for Francis Fay <laughs> that he recovered that. Uh, this this wind is tricky. Oh, it uh, is. That was a beautiful punt there. Into the wind. It was a great punt for Nick Heidel. Into the wind. Drives Dennison all the way back to their own 36. So they get the full field to go to. Let's see if Coach Watts changes his defensive schemes here. Let's see if they, you know, put some more guys in the box, they call mm -hmm. it. You know, sure. you hear about the, the run box. Uh, to force this uh, quarterback, Drew Dawkins, to throw the football. Yep, they got two safeties back, though, so nobody, they're not up in the box on this play, Charlie. First and 10 for Dennison. He's taking his time again, Dawkins is, and he high snap. He'll give it to Minton. Big hole up on the right side, and he will run forward for 12 more yards. Yeah, last possession, the first down, they took a shot, and I think Coach Watts said, well, we're not going to fall for that. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, you know, they're going to have to address that, and he will. Uh, he'll make some maneuvers here and, and change his scheme here because uh, this is slow death. Yeah. You know, this is slow death. <laughs> it Pick is. your poison here. It but. sure is. So another big pickup for Alex Benton, the gain of 12 out to the 30, I'm sorry, 48-yard line, first and 10 for the Big Red. Dawkins again taking his time for the Big Red and surveying that defense. And he will pass this time. He'll step back. He's got plenty of time. He'll fire it deep. He's got Vining on the run, and he overthrows him. Boy, Vining has got some, got an extra gear. He just kicked it in past yes, the Bishop he defense. He's seen that ball was going to be overthrown. He kicked in the turbos there. Uh, Drew Dawkins does have a beautiful mm -hmm. pass there. Sure He's did. got an arm, and he can run. He's a, definitely a triple threat. Uh, we'll take we'll take uh, an incomplete and and uh, move on to second down here. At least that's not a you know an eight yard run. Right. So Vining uh, just kicking in the extra gear. He ran past the Bishop defenders, and Dawkins had the wind at his back. So maybe that's why it went up five yards further than he was expecting. So second and ten for the Big Red. 
Dawkins will take he'll give to Minton he'll big hole again up the middle and another 12 yards for Alex Minton Alex Minton Kind of reminds me of the great John Riggins. Kind of mm -hmm. built low to the ground. Yeah, keeps sure those is. short, choppy steps. and uh, That's a great comparison and just keeps pounding it up your middle. Yeah. So big, big Red pick up the first down, first and goal, first and 10, excuse me, from the 40-yard line. Controlling the clock. Mm -hmm. uh, Denison's offense controlling the clock. They've kind of done this the whole game here. They sure so. have. They've had the ball most of the game. First and 10 from the 40. Dawkins taking his time again. Gets that snap. He'll fake to Minton. He'll roll to his right. He's got time. He throws it to his up back complete, but a gain of zero on the play. Dawkins took a big hit there, too. Yeah, great pressure on the outside here. I, I can't see the number. Boy, Coach Hayden was screaming he wanted a late hit on the quarterback, but it looked like a good play to me. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Well, they're going to they give him two yards on the game, Charlie. It was 35, I believe, for Dennison that made the completion. That's uh, Dallas Griffiths, junior uh, running back. Yeah. Um, good, uh, you know, that was a good defense by the Bishop. It was. They got in there and put some pressure that time. Second and eight from the 38. Bishop showing blitz. Dawkins will take. He'll give the Minton. And this time they'll kind of wrap him up. And, hey, that looks like no gain. Nice job by the Bishop defense. Give him actually one yard on the play, maybe two. So third and six now. Good stop by the defense. Yeah. Uh, excellent stop by the B Bishop defense here. Uh, this is this is a big play in the ball game here. Uh, you give up a first down here, they grind out two or three more minutes off the clock. Your offense is over there. It's cold. Nothing's happening. Yep. Six. Yeah, the Bishop's offense not even meeting. They just. Watch everybody watching here. Second or third and eight, six oh eight to go here in the second quarter. Falcons will take. He'll pass. He's got time. He's going to fire it out to Vining on the left side, and broken up. And. I mean, yep. the pros is one yeah. thing. I thought it was good coverage by the Bishops. Uh, you know, he was right there. It just looked funny. It did, but he yeah. never really interfered with no, the receivers no contact, uh, uh, to be able to get the ball, and he didn't. Um, right. Great job. Great job by the Bishop defense. Well, there were two yeah. officials there, and neither one of them threw a flag, so yep. it must be good. So the Bishops get the stop that you wanted them to get, Charlie. Very, uh, you know, that, very important they got a stop there. Much needed. Uh, now we got to delay a game, a Let's penalty. Or oh, no, late substitution. Looked like 35 ran on the field late. Yeah, a substitution, substitution infraction. Good eyeball, Steve. Uh, uh, good for the referee to catch that. That gives your punter a little more room. Now wait, here comes some more substitutions in. Let's see what's going to happen. I'm yeah. not sure why. So they're taking their starting defense off the yeah. field is what the Bishops are doing. Yeah, that down and distance, uh, you know, if you look at a chart, it says watch for the fake. Watch right. for the fake. Uh, you're not going to return it on, the, on that. Now they, they're forced to punt. Fourth and 11. And we'll see if he does punt it. When he does, he gets it away just in time. He kicks it away from Heidel, and it's going to roll into the end zone. Oh, big bounce for the Bishops. Yeah, took a battling Bishops bounce here. And, uh, boy, how many, how many bullets can you dodge in one half there? If you're Ohio Wesley, and at some point, uh, you know, you've got to start firing your own bullets here. Uh, well, I, know, I mean, the uh, Denison's had two, so they fumbled the kickoff, and then they fumbled that punt. So they've had a couple of dodged bullets themselves. Right. Yeah, that's an excellent point here. Uh, Bishops will have the ball at the 20. Look for a high Wesleyan on offense to, you know, start going to them slants. Uh, you hear me say that a lot, them quick slants against a quick defense. Sometimes it's counteractive, you know. You, you catch people out of position. They tried it the one time, and Kern swatted it down. So first and ten for the Bishops from their own 20. Zane Reese in the backfield. Here comes Gabe Miller, and they will give it to him on the jet sweep. He'll try the left side on the reverse, and he'll be slammed down. But he will get five yards before he gets thrown down. Nice play for the Bishops. That was a nice play. You know, you spread him out like that. Uh, and then run that jet sweep. Hey, let's see if we can work off of that. Let's right. see if we can build off of that. Yeah, you got to try something different. So it's kind of a jet sweep reverse to Gabriel Miller, the senior wide receiver for the Bishops, brings up second and five. And in motion for the Bishops. And he goes back to his spot. Reese will throw. He'll fire it out, gets his tight end, and it'll be a gain of about one. 
and that looks like I'm not even sure who caught that. What number was that, Charlie? Uh, Eight or six? <laughs> it is either Trey Dixon or the, I don't know. Oh, let's give credit to somebody here. Um, it looks like an eight. Is that? I, the I think it was Justin Lowry, number eleven, to be honest with you. Okay. We'll give so, them credit. Let no gain. Third and five. Here comes Dennison. Is we talk about crowding the box, Charlie. That's how the way you crowd the box. Yeah. Oh, and Reese will try to pass, and here comes the blitz, and he's in trouble, and he will get slammed down for another big loss. Good blitz for Dennison. Yeah, and that's the second or third sack for mm -hmm. uh, the big red defense, and. And the way that drive started, I thought, uh, here we go. You know, we're going to build off some positive yardage, and that Dennison defense is the real deal. Yep, uh, so that was 99, Ben Cross, and number four, Eric Trends. Two defensive linemen got back there quickly, and we'll throw him down for an eight-yard loss. That'll bring out the punter with 4.30 to go, another three and out for the Bishops. Nikaito will punt it away, and Dennison looks to have good field position. I will take that, and he might run it, Charlie. And now he'll finally punt. And he thought about it. Great bounce again, and that'll roll to the 35-yard line. Great play by your senior punter. Hey, make a middle note of that punt right there. Yeah, no that kidding. Play. There was no one around. But, you know, he had to get 10 yards or 15 yards. If it was three or four, he probably could have picked it up. Right. Uh, let's see if that's somewhere in the second half. Uh, I West, you start getting desperate as the game goes mm -hmm. for offense or any kind of spark. Uh, yeah, but if you don't get it, you're so far in your own end. So yeah, it was a good decision it by was. Mr. Heidel it, it, and a nice punt here. All right, so first and 10 from the 35. Here comes Dennison. They'll give it to Minton. He'll try the no wood. Dawkins will keep it. He'll go to the outside, and he'll be thrown down. Great open field tackle by the battling bishops. There's Ryan Rubel. Ryan Rubel fought off a box at that edge. He was not going to get beat outside and made a great open field tackle. A loss of a couple here on first down. Let's see if that can spark some uh, momentum for uh, Wesleyan. Yeah, great play by Ryan Rubel. Yeah, so as, as uh, much a struggle as the offense has had today, you're only down 7 nothing here with 3-4 to go in the second quarter, so there's plenty of time for the Bishop offense whenever they get the ball back. Second and 12 for Dawkins. Well, he faked me out. I thought Minton had it last time. He's had it so much. Yeah, it <laughs> he just kind of assumed. Actually, this time he'll pass it. He'll throw it out to Minton and it'll be incomplete. And Dawkins... Kind of looked like he slipped on it or yeah. something. I'm surprised, uh, I'm surprised Dennison offensively with the, the time, you know, the, the way they've been able to run the football up the middle. I'm surprised mm -hmm. they haven't stuck with that. And this is good for Ohio Wesley, and the clock stops. There's three minutes to go. It's third down and long. Uh, you get a stop here, you get some decent position, mm -hmm. field position, and you never know. Yeah, I talked to a coach at our uh, Orange High School defense coordinator. He says that for some reason, offense coordinators don't like to call the same play over and over, even if it works. There's a lot, probably a lot of truth to that. Uh-oh, screen, screen pass, play. and great job by the Bishops. They got in on Dawkins, and they didn't let it develop. I was afraid wow. there. Wow. Yeah, uh, you know, a better pass there from Dawkins to mm. Minton, and uh, you know, there's nothing trouble. but daylight out there. But good pressure by... Uh, that was Mikhail Kalik, number 77, junior defensive tackle, got in there on uh, Dawkins and didn't really give him time. So now Bishops could get some field position on this punt. Let's see what happens. The, the punter will have the wind at his back. It's the only thing to watch here. So Nick Heidel back deep. He's standing at his 28-yard line. And there's the point spot. Right. It's up in the air. Can the Look Bishops out. get it? Uh, no, they can't. And it'll fall down around the five or six yard line. There you go, Charlie. Beautiful, beautiful bull rush up front. And a low, you know, the snap was slow. You could see it wobbling. And uh, the punter took his time. And I've got to see who we got to get. 15 got it, Joe Lapone. Joe like Lapone with an excellent block. And now that's you get just it. what the doctor ordered for uh, Coach Watson and this battling Bishop football team. Um, now they got to poke it in. Yeah, well, you know, the offense has been playing. <laughs> You're hoping that one of those guys would have grabbed that and ran it in. But they got great field position at the seven yard line. Let's see what they can do with it. 
Was it Joe Lapone? All right. Joe Lapone, 15, is the, uh, the sophomore wide receiver. Gets a piece of that ball just what the doctor ordered. First and goal from the seven for the Bishops. He'll take, he'll give the Cintron, he'll try the middle. Ooh, he'll get swallowed up and he'll lose a yard out to the eight yard line. Yeah, Zane Reese, uh, he's, I believe Zane Reese is going to have to, you know, squeeze one in a tight window here. Mm -hmm. uh, I think either way you're setting on a field goal, yeah. you know, something positive, but you got two downs here to, to poke it in the end zone, which would be huge uh, at this point in the bowl game. Yeah, San Filippo is their senior kicker, but he will be kicking into the wind if he attempts to kick. Boy, look, they just crowd that box, Charlie. They got all those defenders are right up on the on the line of scrimmage, and he'll, Zane Reese will try to throw. He's in trouble backside, and he does get it away, and that'll be an intentional yeah. grounding. You got to be kidding, boy! There's yeah, nothing he, working for the Bishops. He wasn't out of the box, and. Uh, you know, he, he didn't. There wasn't a receiver within, you know, five, ten yards. So. Well, number eight or nine. Uh, Unless it's a defensive gone. holding. Mahir Chalaki, excuse me, was on the far right side, and he did get hit as he was trying to throw. So they're going to talk about it. And <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, wow. <laughs> the head official threw the flag. He's not. He's going to call the loss of down. Yeah. And they had me believing that uh, I know <laughs> I was going to be grounding. No, boy, well, see, so Pete, you're at the seven, and then the eight, and now you're going to move it all the way out to the 19 yard line. Yeah, well, they were 12 yards backwards on two plays. Right. I was half joking about run, run that punt block in. And geez, yeah, so Pete. Uh, you know, how Wesleyan doesn't have a tight end. They don't go with the tight end uh, very often, if at all. And, right. and, you know, this is a good place for your tight end. Yeah, so the tight ends are for Darius Randolph and then uh, 85, uh, Cody Brown. I haven't seen Cody Brown today. I don't know if he might be injured or not. But so spread, no tight end out there for the Bishops. Third and goal from the 19. Man in motion is Chalakian, and he will wait. He'll throw it deep. It's man-to-man -man out there. A touchdown, <laughs> Bishops. you got to be kidding me. Justin Lowry gets it done. The senior wide receiver. Beautiful pass by Zane Reese. Wow. He had one-on-one -on -one coverage over there with the little safety over the top. And the safety had to respect that uh, running back coming over in motion. And he bid on that. And a beautiful pass by Zane Reese. And that's just what the doctor ordered for Ohio Wesley. And now we got a ball game, Steve. Sure do. So, you know, you, boy, they just crowd everybody up. They play man-to-man -man on those receivers. Sometimes you take a shot and see what happens. And not only it was just a beautiful throw. And Lowry ran right underneath of it in the back corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Bishops. Here's the extra point attempt. San Filippio, oh boy, pressure was coming, and he drills it through, and now we have a 7 7 game. All right, something so simple as an extra point could loom large on these uh, tight ball games. And hey, you got to give the, the Bishop special teams, they, they mm -hmm. spark, they. they you know, they caused a spark there with that pressure, and, and all of a sudden we got a football game, and, uh, you know, at halftime we'll, we'll collect information and stats, and you'll look at these stats and say, how are we even close <laughs> That's here? right. Because it's been very lopsided. Mm -hmm. Dennison just had the ball the whole game. I mean, yeah. literally, it's just been uh, nothing but Dennison. So great job by the Bishops. Get that block punt, and then third and 19, Zane Reese throws the beautiful pass to the back corner, Justin Lowry. So we do have a 7-7 ball game. Yeah, Coach Watts finally can breathe a little bit here and, uh, you know, now, you know, what you don't want is to give up big plays here these last two minutes before halftime because uh, you fought and clawed and scratched to get back in this ball game and you can't give up a score here uh, to break that momentum. So 2.20 to go in the second quarter. The Bishops tie it up 7-7. Seven to seven. They will be kicking in the wind, and I believe the Bishops um, will have the ball first in the second, in the third quarter after halftime also. So that'll be a, some momentum going into halftime. Let's see what they can do. A low kick into that wind. It'll be caught at the 20, 25, and runs out of bounds, and that is Vining, and he will run out at the 26-yard line. Yeah, nice kick in this wind. Yep. <laughs> it's... it's it's going to be a factor at some point. Uh, maybe it has already been in, in different situations, but uh, it's a pretty stiff breeze out of the south. You know, it's at the back of Denison right now, so the ships are going into the wind. It makes that throw even more impressive. Right. You know, if you're Denison, you, you've got all your timeouts. Uh, you've, you know, there's no reason to feel like you have to throw the football here. You can still run the football. Uh, Ohio Wesleyan, you know. He'll go to Minton. He'll go to the outside. 
inside, and he, geez, the hole was just so huge, and he sprints through that hole for a nine-yard gain. I mean, geez. He's a stud back. He really is. If you Wesleyan, you'll let him kind of give him chunks to bend, but don't break right here. Uh, defense. Bishops are a 3-4 defense. They bring a defender extra one up on the line, and he'll roll, and he'll incomplete for Dawkins. He was looking for something in the middle there, and that'll bring up third and one. Yeah, you mentioned it earlier. Your old uh, old Tangy Orange coach said coordinators don't like to call that <laughs> same play over and over, and I don't get it. I don't get it, but, hey, that's good. The clock is stopped, and, you know, you kind of get a stop here. Next thing you know, you got a chance to get the football back with time and timeouts. Yeah, that reminds me, uh, when Ohio State won that their most recent national championship, they had to beat Alabama. And Alabama had Derrick Henry, who's playing on the pro right now, and they could have just run that up and down every time, but they kept trying to pass on Ohio State, which helped. So third and one, Bishop's showing a blitz, and another movement. Again, kept him in that stance a little bit too long, and it backfires. Dennison moves, and that'll move him back five yards. It'll make up third and six. Big Preston off. The, that is Dennison's biggest lineman up there. He he was anticipating pressure. Looked like they were going to pass the football there, too. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, six foot. Wow, 6'4", 297. He is a big young man. And he just... <clears throat> I, I, I really, I mean, sometimes you, as a quarterback, you want to read what's happening. And the Bishops, they're, they're not moving on defense. They're not showing anything different. They're just pretty much showing you what they are. And uh, Dawkins is waiting for something, and that just makes the offensive line move. So third and six, Bishops would love to get Dennison off the field. Dawkins taking his time again. He'll pass. Here it comes. He fires it out. He's got his man. A nice one-handed catch, and that'll be just enough to for the first down. Beautiful pass, beautiful completion. Yeah, uh, you haven't seen Dennison go to that out route. They only needed six yards, a smart play by them. Mm -hmm. Next, Nice pitch, a nice catch. Uh, Hunter Biddle on the reception, junior wide receiver, and just enough for the first down and stops the clock with 1.41 to go here in the second quarter. And the refs are stopping the clock now. Let's see what's happening. Looks like they're adjusting the clock. It's at 139 right now. They want something different. I'm not sure what they want. They announced it. Oh, 145. Okay, so they had six seconds back to the clock. Interesting. First and 10 from the 37. 145 to go in the second quarter. Dawkins will pass again. He'll drop back. Plenty of time. Fires it over the middle. He's got a wide open middle, but he overthrows him. Das is sprinting down the middle of the field. Bishops catch another break. And Den uh, Dennison has some receivers with some speed <laughs> here. My goodness. It is deceptive. I mean, the Bishops are running with them, and they just hit that middle, and uh, Vining hit that extra gear, and they can really turn it on. Yeah. Uh, Ohio State's kind of been, or Ohio State, Ohio Wesleyan's been kind of lucky. Uh, Dawkins' pass is just a hair off here with the timing, and the wind may be the factor there, too. I don't know. I wonder what that score in the Ohio State game is, Charlie. We'll have to check that here in a minute. Boy, Minnesota is up 24-13 on Penn State, though. Wow. That's good to hear. All right, so um, second and 10 from the 37. Dawkins will take the snap. He will pass. He's dropping back. He's got some time. He fires a wide open man, and he drops the ball. Wow, he was wide open on that right sideline. I believe that was Biddle again. Yeah, I, uh, Ohio Wesley is playing it's kind of a two-deep safety zone coverage, and really nobody responsible for a back out of the backfield. And, boy, he had him, uh, Dawkins had him, him streaking down there wide open and a good pass there, and then Ohio Wesley is in trouble. It stops the clock. And um, I'm trying to get that. Oh, Ohio State 42 nothing just after the halftime. So Ohio State taking care of business. Wow, I should have took that 45 point spread <laughs> there. Uh, that scared me. All right, here we go. Third and 10. Dawson Stockens will pass again. He's got time. He fires it out. It's complete. Keep him in bounds. Don't let him get out to the 47. First down for Dennison. That's number two. His first catch. Dylan Johnson, a freshman receiver from Canton Central Catholic. Yeah, the clock stops, uh, fortunately, for Dennison on the first downs and restarts after the spot here. They do Lots have, of time left. Yeah, and then Dawkins going to pass again. He's got plenty of time. He's just going to stand back there and wait, and nobody's coming, and he'll and eventually throw it out of bounds. So for the most part, Bishops have been covering those receivers. There's no one open uh, for Drew Dawkins to throw to. Yeah, we talked early, Steve. Uh, we felt like the strength of this Bishop team was their defense, mm -hmm. and uh, you can't argue that because – 
you know, you look at this Denison offense, and boy, I tell you what, I, I'm, I'm surprised that we're able to hold them to seven. Their quarterback's the real deal. He can run. Sure he is. can throw. Their running back's a stud, and they got good quick linemen up front. And, uh, you know, they kind of got a high Wesleyan off their toes there. A couple missed passes and penalties, and this game would be a little different. Second I think. and ten, they'll go to Minton again up the middle. And why pass when you can do that, Charlie? Another 15-yard run for Alex Minton. Yeah. Yeah, High Wesley is really going to, you know, have to regroup here at halftime uh, to see what kind of scheme they're going to do. Uh, this is, you know, you can't continue to live like this, I don't think, in the second half for, uh, for High Wesley. Timeout, uh, Dennison, I think. It was. So Dennison takes the big timeout here. He stops the clock with 105 to go. They are threatening. They got the ball again down to the Bishop 30-yard line. And 105, really plenty of time because they do have timeout, two timeouts all, uh, available still. Yeah, time, time's not an issue for High Westland. It's going to, what are we going to stop here? Are right. we going to stop that, you know, big running back from gashing us up the middle? Are we going to stop the pass? Uh, you know, it's going to be interesting here. Somehow they got to hang on. And Denison's in field goal range, I would think, at this point, uh, with plenty of time and timeouts and. Uh, Let's see if uh, the defense can be opportunistic. Maybe uh, jump around, maybe pick a pass off here, or get a sack fumble, or mm -hmm. you know uh, something. Something's got to give here. Right. So you know, I mean, if you want to talk to the defense coordinator for the bishops, he can say, "Hey, we've only given up seven points here in the first half to a powerful team." So the scheme yeah. is is working, but <clears throat> Denison's had the ball quite a bit. Yes, they're they're, they're a good team. You, you can just see it. So first and ten from the 3105 here in the second quarter. It is a tie score, seven to seven. Hawkins in that shotgun. He's got Minton with him in the backfield. He's taking his time again. He makes some communications to his receivers. And then he'll finally take the snap. He'll give to Minton. He'll try the right side. He'll dance around. He's hit and finally thrown down. And about a gain of six there. Denison's going to hurry and not take a timeout. Clock's running 53-52. They line up quickly and try to go again. Second and six from the 35. Fake to Minton. He'll roll to his left. He's got his tight end. There it is. He hits him, and he'll get caught, tackled inbounds. Nice open field tackle by Shane Quinn, the, the senior linebacker. Right, Denison's going to be forced to call their second timeout. That was a good tackle inbounds, and... Uh you know, now the, now the clock starts to become a factor. I think if you're Denison, yep. you're going to have to start taking a few shots. If you're wanting to score a touchdown uh, here, uh, are you, you happy? You think you would, right? I mean, isn't that your, your goal? Are you happy with uh, just going in with maybe a field goal attempt? I don't think so. Uh, and we've not seen their kicker uh, try a field goal attempt yet for Denison. So third and one from the 21-yard line, and that last pass was complete to Dallas Griffiths. He's listed as an H-back and not a tight end, but he basically lines up as a tight end. Right. Yeah. That's just a disguise for a, a light tight end. He doesn't block very often. He's a good pass catcher. All right. The kicker for Denison is 90, Pat Kramer. And Pat Kramer is a junior from Chicago. He does have the wind at his back if need be. So third and one, we'll see what happens here from the 21. That would be 38-yard uh, field goal attempt. So not easy, not a, not a give me by any imagination. So bishops are going to need to get a stop here. But if he's from Chicago, he's used to the wind, right? <laughs> sure, he should be. He's a think. sure thing. Look for a high Wesleyan uh, defense here to, to blitz, put some pressure on Dawkins here to, uh, to force a quick throw and maybe – Maybe we can be opportunistic here. If I'm Denison, I pick up the first, give it to Minton, get the first down, and then use my last time out. Let's see what they decide to do. Here comes the blitz, and they are showing blitz, and Denison will fake to Minton. Here comes the pressure. Dawkins is going to try to run, and he slides down. Nicely done, and the clock will still run. It'll be fourth and five. Great defense by the Bishops, yeah, Charlie. that's just a case where you, you, you outthink yourself right yes, there. Sir, you, you called it. Why not just hand off to the guy that has, really hasn't been stopped today? And that's what uh, Dennison was thinking. High Wesley is going to play the run. We're going to catch him with a run pass and get an easy touchdown here. So, Coach Hatem's letting that clock run all the way down before he uses his final timeout, seven, six, five, four, and he can let it go all the way down to one second probably. And oof, point two. <laughs> okay. Wow. Usually three seconds <laughs> is the rule of thumb here. For, <laughs> he let it, not three tenths, but hey, good job, High Wesley. No kidding, Charlie. Good. That's, that's a absolutely. Good job. 
So this is not a give me, Charlie. This is set up at the 24. So it's a 41-yard field goal, but he does have the wind at his back. Denison does not have any timeouts left, and we'll see who's going to come out and kick this. I don't, I don't see a kicker yet. I, don't have to, I mean, 90 is their kicker, but I don't see him out there. It doesn't mean he's, he could still be warming up. Yeah. Yeah, 10's coming in. I don't know if 10's the kicker. Well, it's just have to wait and see. Keep us all in suspense. I see... Uh 79, 89, and 90 are the I kickers. See, I see 90 roster. coming in. Okay, 90. Okay, so Pat Kramer is the junior kicker from Chicago. This will be a 41-yard field goal attempt. Lefty, righty. <laughs> He's warming up both legs. <laughs> <laughs> First, I thought he was a lefty, which... You know, kind of changes things here. It a is bit. straight on. He does have a strong wind at his back. The ships are showing blitz coming up the middle. Now they're going to back off. Here's the snap. It's a high snap. It's down. The kick is up. It is long enough, and it is good. Right down the middle. Nicely done by Pat Kramer. Yeah, Kramer come on the field. He had a, a confidence. You could tell by the way he ran on the field. This was right up his alley, and he drilled it. Good job by the... Uh, the, the holder there was oh, kind of a high was. snap. Uh, so, so Denison will have a little bit of momentum at halftime, 10 to 7, with that th uh, 41 yard field goal attempt going through. So Bishop, Denison with a 10 7 lead at halftime. Okay. A lot to talk about at yeah. half if you're the battling bishops, yeah. offensively and defensively. Yeah, I think that, you know there's some adjustments that's got to be made defensively, but more than anything, there's going to be some adjustments offensively. Uh, sure, definitely. The yeah. offense is going to have to be able to move the football here come so, in the second half. Yeah, we'll take a 20-minute break here, Charlie. We'll come back. We'll have some stats for you. You know, a lot of running from Minton, and uh, we'll see what's happening. But Bishops will start with the ball. They're only down 10-7. Plenty of time to go here in the second half. We'll take a break, and we'll come back in about 15 minutes.
yards, Joe. Miss up for you. Watching Miss up for you. How are they? 36 band students. Six for 18 passing, but it's good. For our second annual, watching Miss up for you. For most who participate in a marching band, your band is like a second family. In celebration of the unifying power of music, we feature our guests in our closing number, Sisters Legends, We Are Family.
ten to seven lead over the battling bishops. And Charlie, some stats, some some things you uh, thoughts and stats from the first half. Well, Steve, three or four things stand out when you look at the stats, and then if you're a sitting in the stadium and you freezing, don't need, <laughs> uh, freezing, you don't need stats to. Uh, let you know that this has kind of been a lopsided game, even though the score shows that it hasn't been. A couple of things I circled here. First downs, Ohio Wesleyan's only got two. Denison's had 13. Wow. Uh, offensive plays and total yards, Ohio Wesleyan, 22 plays for nine yards, and then that's, you know, that's unheard of. Right. And uh, time of possession, mm -hmm. uh, Denison's 21, 51, 21 minutes, 51 seconds compared to Ohio Wesleyan's 8 minutes, 9 seconds. Uh, Denison's, you know, it seems like they've had the ball the yeah. whole uh, first half. It felt like it, and it actually the stats tell you that's what happened, too. Right, but, that, but one stat that kind of stands out here, Steve looking at it, is Alex Menton, 21 carries, 149 yards, and a touchdown. Uh, that that's usually full game stat. Absolutely. If you have that for a full game, you've had a great game, yeah. and he's at, has that at halftime. Uh, so if you're a coach, Watson, that that's the first problem you have to address. Uh, how are we going to stop this run game? And, and the second problem is, what are we going to do offensively to move the football? What what have we seen that we can expose uh, on the Denison defense? Uh, to to move the football to get positive yards and and first thing I think you have to sure up the offensive line. Mm -hmm. You know Zane Reese's you know it, when he's had time you've seen bits and pieces of that he can throw the football but he hasn't really had time when he's went back to throw the football so right uh, a lot of. Uh, a lot of mistakes uh, were made by Denison, or maybe sure this did. score wouldn't be this close. So. Let's see if we, yeah, we do have penalties. Eight penalties for 60 yards against Denison. So that is certainly, they've shot themselves in their own foot enough, uh, plenty of times. The Bishops will receive the ball coming out after halftime, so they'll have a chance to get something going with the offense. St. Reese, 5 for 12 for 37 yards. And their best rushing is uh, Gabe Miller, one attempt for five yards on that jet sweep action type of reverse that they did so <clears throat> yeah the big the big play you know if you just tuning in the big play of the game was uh, for a high wrestling was a block punt yep joe lapone got in there and blocked the punt and that set up great field position and then zane reese hit, made the 19-yard uh, touchdown pass to justin lowry with 220 to go uh, Alex Minton had a two-yard touchdown run at 9.25 in the second quarter to make it 7 nothing, And then with one second to go in the second quarter, Pat Kramer hits the 41-yard field goal with the wind at his back to make it 10-7. to seven. So Bishops will, will have the ball to start the half, and here we go. There's the kick, a nice, deep kick, and it'll, the wind knocks it down about the 10. Trey Dixon will run in it under it at the 20. He's got a little bit of hole, 25, 30, 35, big hole, 40, 45, 50. He's got one man to beat. He beats the kicker. He's got dances to the sideline, 20. 15, 10, touchdown, Miling Bishops. How about that, Charlie? Well, I tell you what, three phases of the game, offense, defense, and special teams, and Ohio Wesleyan special team hey, came to play today. I see no flags on the play. Yep. had one man to beat, and it was the, uh, it was the kicker, and you know that the, the sprint was going to be won by the Ohio Wesleyan. So he returned at about 90 yards. I feel like he caught it at the 10. And boy, you, I tell you what, if you keep, you're having trouble with your offense, and special teams, have, you, you called it correctly, Charlie. Trey Dixon, what a beautiful run down the sideline. He had to beat that kicker, and the kicker had him against the sideline, and he still turned on the Jets. Trey Dixon with a fantastic punt return, and the Bishops are on the scoreboard. Yeah, Trey Dixon looked like a world class sprinter going sure down did. that sideline. Picked up some nice blocking. Great he did. job. He had a big hole to cut through. Here's the extra point attempt. San Filippio with the wind at his back, punches it through, and the Bishops are now up 14 to 10. Hey, we got fireworks uh, to start the second half. Uh, you couldn't ask for a better start if your coach Watts here. To, how are you going to get out of this funk? What are we going to do? How can how are we going to win this game? And my goodness, uh, great job, Trey Dixon and the Ohio Wesleyan kick return team. Uh, 
Uh, that changes everything. It really but does. It does. You know, you and I, we kind of talked about the offense and the defense struggling for the Bishops, but special teams have answered the call today. You get the blocked uh, punt. I think it sets up the first touchdown, and then the 90-yard touchdown uh, run by Trey Dixon on the kick return sets up the second touchdown. Right. And what you don't want to do is to kick it off and see them do the same thing to you because you got the momentum now. You, you kind of mm -hmm. you've taken their best shot, and you're winning the bowl game. Uh, looking at the stats, that shouldn't be the case, but uh, let's take advantage of it. Let's keep things rolling here and hope for a good second half. So San Filippo, Anthony San Filippo, the uh, senior kicker for the Bishops, will kick it off here. He'll have the wind at his back. He's a three-year letterman out of Delaware Hayes High School, a local local product. And he will tee it up, and he will kick it out of the back of the end zone. Peyton Winning, not any chance on that one. Yeah, that's a... Uh Use that wind effectively and don't give them a chance to do what you just done to them. That's right. That's right. When you got the wind at your back, you don't want to mess, uh, mess around with it. So that'll put them at the 25-yard line. We'll get to see if the bishops were able to come up with any kind of answer for that. Alex Minton. Alex Minton. Thank you, Charlie. Yeah, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, what are you going to do against Alex Menson? You got you got to uh, at least start by putting one additional guy in the box. And then they look like they do bring up a safety. They got one deep now. First and ten for Drew Dawkins. He will take. He will give to Minton. He'll try the middle, and this time the bishops are there. But he still dives forward, and and he'll have about five yards on that extra effort. Give him exactly five yards. It seemed like the Bishops hit him after gain of yeah. two, but he just, man, he's so strong. Yeah, I, I have yet to see him go backwards today. Uh, right. Everything, he kind of runs, that's what you call running downhill. It just, you don't go backwards. And he's, he's a good running back, and he's got a good offensive line. Second down and five, and they'll sprint to the left side. He'll try the outside. He gets out and gets hit, but not before he falls forward for another. I think it's about 10 yards on that. Uh, that, so that would be his 23rd carry of the game. <laughs> My goodness, what a workhorse. Uh, you know, you're going to continue to see this until you see uh, Wesleyan, you know, commit to stopping the run. And oh, there's a flag out there, Charlie. Let's see what they call. I didn't yeah. see that. I seen, I seen a helmet get grabbed or a face mask possibly. Wow. I hope I'm wrong, but something looked funny out there. The bishops are pointing towards Denison. Maybe holding. Maybe an illegal block. We'll, we'll see what the what the call on the field is here. Unsportsmanlike, right? And isn't that what that means, I think? And against Denison, I don't know. Something unsportsmanlike. That's 15 yards. And they'll give him the first down, I think, right? It was after the play, I believe. So you get the first down, but... Uh, there's a little bit of displeasure by the Denison coaching staff, and, and you can see... You know, Coach Hatem over there giving the uh, referees an earful. He didn't like the call, but, you know, they get, uh, players get a little chippy when there's a group on the sidelines, and maybe it was something on the bench. I don't know. Sideline. So now they're moving the, the down markers back, too, so it's going to go. It's a dead ball. Okay, so it's first and 10 instead of first and 20, yeah. and they got to go all the way back to the 24. All right, so the Denison shoots themselves on the foot again. Minton tries the middle. Nothing there this time. Bishop stack it up. Nice job. Hey, uh, finally you see, like, uh, initial contact to stop Mr. Minton here because he hasn't been, you know, stopped much on the initial contact. He keeps his feet moving and gets that three, four, five yards. So good job by the Wesleyan defense, especially the guys up front. Yep, I saw 45 being Nate Lee, the defensive tackle, senior defensive tackle, was the last man up. So that's he's your nose guard in there. You want him to be clogging the hole. And they're going to give him, a, looks like, about two yards on that somehow. Second down and eight. All right, there's a, this is a passing, you know, down in distance here. So be prepared if you're wrestling for the, the fake handoff and the, and the pass here. They only got one safety back, so they are sneaking up that other extra safety. They're going to pass. No, it's a run. Penalty on the play, and they're going to get Drew Dawkins and slam him down for no gain. And you think you saw a holding out there, Charlie? I think I saw oh, a holding no. on Look, that. He's, he's calling off sides. sides. Oh, my. Bishops finally get a stop, and then they hurt themselves with the penalty. Yeah, so, you know, if uh, Drew Dawkins knew he had a free play there, he might have aired one out, but it looked like it was a design quarterback draw right out of the gate. And unfortunately, uh, the defensive end for High Wesleyan lined up offsides and 
It's an easy five yards when you finally get a stop, just like you said. And instead of third and eight, you now have second and three. Yeah, second and three uh, gives you a lot of options as an offensive yeah. coordinator here. <laughs> sure uh, does. So the ball's out to the 31-yard line, second down and three. 12.35 to go. Bishops with a 14-10 lead. Dawkins taking his time again. He will take the snap. He'll give it to Minton, and he will break some tackles, and he finally takes a big hit. There, there, there's your first time you see him going backwards, yeah. Charlie. It's the first time somebody squared him up and drove him backwards. Uh, you know, you know, I mentioned his number of carries, 23, and that's 24 now. And jokingly, that's a lot, but... I tell you what, as a running back, you start taking them licks like that, and you start taking them hits and shots, and next thing you know, your legs are starting to die. You're starting to get tired. I mean, obviously, he's a well-conditioned athlete, right. and he gets a lot of work, but uh, he's got a lot of work so far in this ball game, Steve. We'll see if that plays a toll here come by the fourth quarter. They'll give him three, which is just enough for the first down, so first and ten for... Dennison from the 34-yard line. Dawkins will fake the pass, fake the handoff. He'll look the pass, holding. No, no call. He'll fire it out. He finds his man complete down to the 45-yard line. It'll be a 20-yard completion, and there are no penalties out there. 20-yard completion to Hunter Biddle. Yeah, we saw, you know, we saw uh, number eight out there. I apologize for not knowing his name right off the bat. He was in on a corner blitzer. And somebody blitzer. had a hold of his leg. He <laughs> said, I'm not going to give up a sack. I'll, I'll jump on your leg here. And I'm shocked the referee didn't see that. Uh, yeah, the uh, Ohio Wesleyan coaches up in the box here with us did see it. First and 10, he'll give it to Minton, the far left. And he gets the edge again and cuts it back in. Gets slammed down, but not before he gets yeah. six yards. You know, that's a game changer. You think you you think you got a, a, the quarterback stopped or going to get a penalty and end up getting 20, 30 yards. And now... The beat goes on, and a nice drive continues for Dennison. Yeah, they're chewing up the clock, but if they don't get any points, it doesn't matter. So we'll see what happens. Second right. and four, they give them six on the play from the 39-yard line. Hi, Wesleyan, sub doing some substitutions mm -hmm. here uh, defensively. Second and four, Dawkins taking his time. Gets the snap, gives it to Minton up the middle. Huge hole. He does get cut down, but not before he gets about eight yards. Yeah, Daniel Minton, number 52, uh, just substituted him in and on the defensive line, and he gets a nice push. And then, unfortunately, the left tackle pushed him out of the way and opened up a big hole for Minton here. So, methodical drive for Dennison, Big Red, or run first. Pass second option, and it's working. Uh, it sure is. It's I mean, working. They, 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 they got the dominating everywhere, sorry, except for the scoreboard. First and 10 from the 32-yard line. Dawkins will take. He'll give it to Minton. He'll try the middle. He finds a hole and falls forward for about six yards. Yeah, Coach Hatem, uh, you know, usually uh, cuts his, the coach's frustration. You'll, he'll start calling the plays. He'll uh -huh. say, uh, I'm tired of this, this and that and these gadgets and this. We're going to do what works. We're going to run the football up the middle until they stop it. And uh, that's what they've done so far here. Hey, it's uh, amazing. Another six yards for Minton. I mean, I don't even <clears throat> I don't think I've seen a, another running back take a, take a couple series either. Or, you know, he's been in there the entire yeah, time. He's the workhorse. Second and four from the 31-yard line. He'll pass this time. Dawkins back to pass. He's got some time. Fires it over to Vine. Intercepted. Nick Heidel will catch the ball. We're going to have to the 20. And he'll take a big hit. But Nick Heidel with the interception. Nicely done in the right place at the right time. That's your free safety. Nick Heidel at the time, and again, we've called his name either with his foot, uh, this time with his defensive prowess yeah. here. He was just playing center field, and, you know, we, we've mentioned it. Why would Dennison want to do that? Uh, uh, good for Ohio Wesleyan. Yeah, absolutely, Charlie. Ohio, i got to give credit, uh, Ohio Wesleyan's defensive coach credit for not really committing to that run stop, and it, it proved uh, to work right there. He said, I, I still don't trust your passing game. Yep. And, 
Nick Heidel made a beautiful play, and here we go again. Stepped right in front of the receiver, so now the Bishops need to do something with their offense. 9.24 to go here in the third quarter. Got the ball at their own 22-yard line. Reese will take. He'll give it to Cintron. Or Durant, Curtis Duran, and actually he gets some running room. At about five yards there for number 24 for the battling Bishops, Curtis Duran. Yeah, he went off tackle, and they got some nice blocking up front by the big boys on the offensive line. Hey, a positive play on first down. That's what you'd like to see. You sure do. Dennison keeps throwing me off. They got a safety that's a number 87. Yep, a defensive back. Anthony Rooney, number 87, is one of their safeties. And a false start by the Bishops, and there goes your five yards. So you went from second and five, now it's second and ten. Yeah, an unfortunate uh, penalty right there. I, I, I wanted to mention Alex Prestick. He's the offensive lineman there for the Bishops. He, he, he's been... Uh, working hard, hard all year, and it opened up a nice hole there on first down. Here comes Gabriel Miller in motion. Will they give it to him again? Do they fake the reverse? They're going to look to pass, and Reese will fire it out. He's got his man, and it's broken up. Nice try. It was for number nine. That's Sassoon. I'm sorry, that's Mahir Chalaki, and nicely broken up by Dennison. Yeah, good read by Zane Reese. Uh, he's seen one-on-one -on -one coverage with, mm -hmm. you know, Dennison sticking with that on the outside, and he let it fly, and it was a 50-50 ball, and he almost come down with it. He really was very close. Broken up at the last minute by number 10, Corey Schwartzmiller from Denison makes the play. So close play and a good idea. And that's probably the first time Reese has really had time to set his feet to make a throw too. Yeah. Third and 10. So first two plays, even though haven't gotten much out of it, the offensive line has made some holes and and held their blocks. Three-man rush. Reese will step up. He's got time. He fires it over the middle for Gabriel Miller. He catches it and brings it down at the 44-yard line. Gabriel Miller, what a catch. Beautiful. Uh, Beautiful protection. Let's start yep. with that by the offensive line. Uh, I didn't know if Reese was just going to get happy feet and take off running because he looked like he had some daylight. But He did have a hole. Know, he had Gabe Miller wide open there, and he made a nice athletic play. Sure did. The Bishops are going to go hurry up. Brings it up. Reese will pass again. He fires it out, and he doesn't. Oof. Curtis Duran didn't turn around and look. He was open and hits him right in the back of the head. Yeah, Curtis Duran, if, boy, if he could have caught that, he could have turned that turbos on and I got down that sideline. Good read by Zane Reese and Ohio Wesley, and you can see some, they're wanting to do some different things. They want to change the tempo. They're wanting to, you know, dump the ball out. Uh, I got to give them credit. They're trying something different here. And it's working a little bit. They're moving. They're in the Denison side of the field. Uh, here Chalakian goes in motion. He'll stay in block, and it's a fumble. And let's see what happens. He tried to hand it to Duran, and another miscommunication between Duran and Zane Reese. And Duran comes up with the football, but that's two plays in a row where the quarterback and tailback are on different pages. Yeah, in both plays, that looked like, you know, just from up here in the press box, looks like, man, if he could have got that handoff, there was a hole, actually a hole in the middle. Uh, by the offensive line, so you got to try to overcome these mistakes. Yeah, Duran didn't look like he was ready for the ball, so third and 11. I mean, here Chalakian goes in motion, and Reese will fake it. He'll fire it out. No one over there. Just throws it away because pressure was coming. Yeah, and the referees called a tip ball because there was some contact down the field, but uh, that's all you could do if you're Zane Reese to throw it away. You got a good punter. You got the lead. Yeah. Uh, maybe pin him deep and, and you know, talk about what was working on that series of uh, downs and, you know, maybe get a stop here and maybe move the football next time. Yeah, Bishop's pick up a couple of first downs. And, you know, I have not seen Cody Brown. He's the senior tight end, number 85. So he may be out with an injury because he is one of the players that the quarterback looks for. Oh, the ball gets rolled back. Hey, hey, he hey, can hey. run it. Nope, here comes somebody. <laughs> <laughs> so Heidel will punt it away, and it's going to hit at the 10, and, draw, and they'll down it right at the 10-yard line. Nice job by Nick Heidel again. Nick Heidel's done a lot of good things, and we're still waiting for him to do that, uh, you know, that European-style kick and Again, just take off running. Yeah, I mean, if it, I feel like if it was, he's thinking if he, he could easily get five, but he needed ten, so that was the problem. You know, he was just a little bit not sure if he could have got ten yards there. Yep, good decision, and uh, you know, they, Wesleyan has Dennison pinned deep. Uh, hey, maybe it's the time for your defense to be continue to be opportunistic here, maybe cause a fumble. Yep. Uh, well, yeah, you, if you're the Bishops, you were hoping they're passing. <laughs> Right. I mean, they've had better luck against the pass. They just can't stop the run very well. So first and 10 from the 10 for Denison. 
He'll take the snap, he'll give to Minton, he'll run it up the middle, and he'll get about six yards right up the middle of the gut again, and he's thrown down. And he's slow to get up, which I don't blame him. Yeah. Oh, no, he is, he's not getting up, Charlie. And there he goes. Took him a minute. Yeah, uh, we talked about the number of carries and the beating he's taken. What a, what a tough young man. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's early yet in the second half, and then High Wesley's starting to get some good looks on him. You know, he's, he's still running hard. Uh, and the Sun's made an appearance all of a sudden. 6.59 to go here in the third quarter. Bishops with the 14-10 lead. He'll give it to Minton. He'll try it up the middle. Plenty of speed. He breaks through, and he's finally called pulled down by the feet. Not until he gets 12 more yards. The shoestring tackle there. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, Ohio Wesleyan's kind of happy to give five, six yards uh, a pop here. They don't want to get beat by the pass. Uh, they sure I, don't. I see that. Yeah, they decided today that they are going to stop the pass at all and, uh, you know, make you know, make Dennison earn it by running it. Yep. First and 10 from the 28-yard line. Bishops are in man-to-man -man defense. Dawkins takes his time. He'll give to Minton again, and he runs into some trouble. Cody Strait throws him down. But, again, he boy, somehow he managed to get five yards, Charlie. Yeah, this is old-school football. Mm -hmm. Three yards in a cloud of dust. Woody right. Hayes would love this. <laughs> I uh, sure would. A lot of uh, old-school coaches. This is the kind of football they like. It's simple. Mm -hmm. uh, it's effective. It's demoralizing mm -hmm. to the other team. Uh, and, it's working right now for Denison. I, yep. I don't see him why they would change any other play call other than what's working right here. Yep, but they do not have the lead. Bishops with the 14-10 lead. 5.45 to go here in the third quarter. Dawkins taking his time again. He'll give it to Minton. He'll try the middle again. This time Cody Strait hits him and throws him down. No gain. How often have we said that today? Yeah, Cody Strait all day, all day long has been fighting those guards, getting mm -hmm. to the second level. Uh, Kind of blocking him out of the play, but this time he was able to, uh, you know, get a good square up hit on uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Alex Minton, and uh, you know brings up uh, third down. Third and five, so no gain on the play. Big play, big play in the ball game right here. It looks like they gave him about a yard actually, so it'll be third and four from the 34. They need to get to the 38. Bishop's only going to rush three. They might sneak up a couple here. No, yeah. Here comes the blitz, nicely done, delayed blitz, but it's picked up, wide open is Biddle, he goes backwards and he'll get the first down up the sideline and more. Breaks that open field tackle. If that tackle goes down, he doesn't get the first down. Yeah, nice job, first of all, by Dennison's offensive line. They yes, picked up the blitz. They sure did. They yeah. gave uh, their quarterback time to make some nice reads. First, second option wasn't there. He, he, mm -hmm. he went with the third option, which was wide up. High Wesleyan had a chance to, yes. you know, shoestring tackle would have went big there. But sure would have. First down, Dennison. Hunter Biddle's had a lot of success from that wingback position. Here comes Minton again. This time he will get thrown down, but he'll fall forward for three yards. That is Kyle Hogan, 92, on the tackle on the backside, slams him down. Kyle, gain of three. Kyle Hogan went for a little ride on that play, didn't he? Uh, that just shows you the strength of Alex Minton. But, hey, a good tackle. Uh, brings up second down with... Second and eight, actually. They only give him two on the play. Said so good knee, job by Kyle Hogan. Said his knee was down there. I uh, thought he got a couple more, but it's time to uh, time to put some pressure on this run game. Second down and eight, 403 clock moving. Give to Minton on the right side. He sprints through another huge hole, and he finally runs into the secondary, but not before a gain of... Um, Three, I can't even do the math. Eight, 12 yards, and Alex Minton is still down, Charlie. And now he's going to get up. He keeps getting up slower and slower, which, hey, I don't blame him. I mean, gee, Christmas, how many hits has he taken today? Yeah, the great uh, the great Jim Brown, one mm -hmm. of his trademarks was that he got up slow every play. Yep, he needed all that time to get his energy. So Minton will walk off on his own power nice and slow. He looks like he's okay, but... Oof. But uh, several people asked Jim Brown why he would get up slow, and he's like, I get up slow every play. That way they don't know if they hurt me mm. or that's just the way that I am. But that time Alex Minton, he, he could tell this 30 carries is starting to wear him down a little bit. So Dara Laja is the backup tailback. He'll come in, he'll get the ball, and he will get smashed. It's like different blocking or something. I mean, there were two bishops there that slammed him down. Dara Laja, the backup tailback's like, geez, why didn't you guys block for me? What do you do for Minton? Yeah, Dara Laja. 
I'm just going to set it. I'm good <laughs> over here. You'll go ahead and bring the bring Nitton back in. Nitton back in. Nice play by Wesleyan defense up front. They kind of blew up the blocking sure and uh, needed that needed that kind of a stop here. Well, second and 13 for the Bishops. I mean, the clock is just <laughs> it's draining a slow death here on us. It's 3-11 to go in the third quarter. It feels like Denison's had the ball the whole quarter again. But still, they only got 10 points to show for it. Right. Second and 13. Dawkins taking all the time in the world. Here comes the blitz, and they tipped it. Oh, man. So they had a screen called, Charlie, but the Bishop defenders did their job, got those hands up, and knocked the ball down. Yeah, nice job by number 52, and we'll find his name. Daniel, Daniel Woodruff. Woodruff. Yes, sir. Senior Daniel Woodruff, 6'3", 210 from Cincinnati, Marymount. You know, good thing he read, uh, got his yes. hands up. Uh, the, there was a bull rush, and the offense was letting the defensive line get to that quarterback, which that's what you do on a screen. But, hey, excellent play by the Wesleyan defense. Third and 13, another big play for this Bishop defense. Can they get a stop? Showing blitz, showing pulling it back. Dawkins taking his time. He's going to pass. Here comes the rush. He's got time. He double clutches. He fires it out. Intercepted again. Nick, uh, no, seven. I thought that was two. Seven is Cole Nixon, junior corner. Well, you know, I mean, if you're the defensive coach, that's what you want. Make them earn their way down the field, and sooner or later they're going to throw it to you. Yeah, great job, Cole Nixon, high wrestling, playing two deep safety. It was a passing situation. They only rushed three, dropped everybody back. And, uh, you know, if we've seen any kind of weakness or chink in the armor for Denison, and it's it's their quarterback being able to make good decisions when it comes to the passing game here. Yeah, and he, kind of, he patted the ball about two or three times, and he gave that safety plenty of time to read it, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he was locked in on the right side. Yes, he was. Let's get this Bishop offense going. First down from their 25. Reese will take it. He'll give it to Trey Dixon, and he just runs into his own man, and then he dances around. That might be Marty Sesma, actually, but a good second effort to pick up about three yards. We'll see who gets up, and it looks like Sesma. Let's see if he turns. Turn around, Marty. Looks like two, isn't it? Yes. Yes. All right, Marty Sesma gets a chance to run the ball. Sophomore running back out of San Diego, California. Get, they'll give him three, actually, second and seven. So that's a good first down play. Yeah. Something positive. Uh. They'll go Marty again, and he'll try to run up the middle. Oh, man, somebody got a hold of his knee and took him down. And he'll lose <laughs> the two yards, and now yeah. it's third and nine. That's been the theme, you know, positive yards on first down. And second down just has been a nightmare for the Bishops. Uh, it's been a lot of negative plays or... Uh, you know, backward games there. It's a, uh, it's time to make a play here down the field. Jane Reese going to have to step up in that pocket. Uh, he's going to have to thread the needle here. He's got to get some protection here. So. Sure. So 97, Chase Strewing, that senior defensive lineman number nine, uh, for Denison, was on that last tackle, got a hold of Sesma's knee and took him down. Third and nine. Chalakian goes in motion. That is Sassoon Chalakian, and, and there's the flag. Usually that's on the offense, right, Charlie? Yeah, they're motioning uh, initial yeah, indication. I'll start. Yep. So third and nine becomes third and 14. The ship's going the wrong way. Yep. And he sure would love to see them give their defense a rest, Charlie. Get a first down <laughs> somehow. Yeah, because you know what's coming for a Denison <laughs> offense. You can just about bet what's going to happen in this next. All right, Reese does that? have some time. He's going to go back there, and then he runs right into the pressure. He's going to try to run out to the outside. Here come the linebackers, and he's not going to be able to pick up much. They'll give him about five yards on that, but he needed 14, and that'll bring out the punt team. Yeah, you made a good point, Steve. Uh, given the Wesleyan defense arrest, and you wonder if that's going to come back uh, to haunt them, you know, here coming with the fourth quarter coming up. Well, they, they've been fed a heavy diet of Menton right up in their gut. Yeah. But, though, Charlie, you've mentioned earlier, the Bishops are subbing in and out on their defense, so they're doing, trying to keep those guys fresh the best they can. Here comes the rush. Heidel will punt it, and nice, high, long punt. Drive that oh, returner good. over his head, Charlie. Down to the 20, down to the 12-yard line. And, I mean, that's from the 25. I'm not very good at math, so let's see. 25 to the 50, 45. That's about a 50-yard punt. Yeah, Nick Heidel single-handedly really flopped this field with his leg. He's had Again. some interceptions. He's had some nice plays on defense. Uh, 
Hey, here we go again. We we're pushing them back and in a bend, but don't break defense. Yep, and then you, I mean, you got to go, they're down with the 12, and they got to go the whole length of the field, you know, and it's something, you know, that's the one defensive coordinator I talked to at Orange. That's what they want them to do. They, One team they played had a 22 uh, play drive that ended in a turnover, you know? Yep. So defensive coaches love this kind of stuff. Here comes Minton again, and he dances and gets slammed down. This time he only gets about three. Nice job. And then a late flag, Charlie. I'm not sure what that was for. Uh, usually a late flag means late hit or some type of unsportsmanlike. I don't know what side of the football uh, they're going to call it on. But Could uh, go either way. A lot of extra skirmishing and... And it's hard to re I try to read body language on the different teams. Nobody knows really what's going to happen here. Denison looks like they've moved back, so they might think it's coming on them. But here comes the call from the official. Unsportsmanlike again. Denison again. You know, I mean, it's the two areas that Denison has lost this game. It has been penalties and uh, the special teams. They've won on offense and defense, but the penalties... So it takes them from second and five, and it'll move it back to second and about 15. That's a big penalty, and it drives them back to their own nine-yard line. Yeah, and then what it does is it takes them out of their comfort zone. Uh, you know, uh, Drew Dawkins, these last couple of times, he's went to pass and made bad decisions. So mm -hmm. do you trust him down here deep? So second and 14, let's see what he's going to do. He's going to take his time, and he's going to keep it, and he's going to roll out. He's got a running back, and it's, oh, man. That, ooh, that was close, Charlie. Ian Riddle jumped that route, and Peyton Vining at the last minute broke it up. Yeah, Coach hate him. <laughs> well, he what he's hating right now is having to throw the football. Yes, he his is. Quarterbacks, his quarterback's seeing one thing, yep. but uh, it's not what he's you know reading. He's locking in on receivers and these defensive backs and safeties for a high wrestling. Well, they're stepping up, and then... Wow, they're making, making plays here, Steve. Third and 14. He did have Dallas Griffiths open underneath, and he went deep, and that was almost an interception. Third and 14. He is going to throw again. Here comes the rush. He's got time. He's going to try to scramble out of it. He's going to get thrown down at the two-yard line. What a tackle. Daniel Woodruff. Daniel Woodruff, relentless, relentless off that right end, and I didn't know if he was going to get to it yep. before the ball got thrown, but uh, it was almost a safety, and... You know, I mentioned Daniel Woodruff's been kind of going in and out, and he's got some fresh legs right now for Westland defense. Okay, so that is the last play of the third quarter, and the Bishop's still with the 14-10 lead, and they're going to mark it at the three. So when we come back at the start of the fourth quarter, Denison's going to have to kick from their own three-yard line, but they will have the wind at their back for the fourth quarter. So the Bishops will be going into the wind for the fourth quarter, um, and then we'll see what the, the Bishops can get something going. They should have good field position. Right, so, you know, Coach Watts is going going to have to make a decision here. Do we do we try to block this punt? Because this punter's shaky right, right now. Right. We've blocked one. Uh, or do we set up a return, play right. it safe, and not right. take a chance on getting a roughing and an automatic first down? It's going to be interesting to see the philosophy here. But, hey, all of a sudden, Ohio Wesleyan's got energy. They got, yeah, you know, they they're, do. they're making plays. They're hustling. They're containing that pocket. Uh, good job by the coaching staff on making some adjustments here. The one thing that's working is Alex Menton running the football. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, they kind of got to go away from that when you're getting down in just a situation. So senior punter Calvin Montgomery for Denison will be right in the back of his end zone. And then Dennis is, um, Bishop's got all 10 of their men up on that line. So he'll catch it low snap. And it's blocked. And it goes out of the back of the end zone. Safety battling Bishops. Well, you called that one, Charlie. Wow. Great job by the front 10 guys. And, you know, there, there's a weakness there. They've scouted that and they've, you know, made a note that, hey, if we bull rush these guys hard up the middle on a punt, we can get to this punter. He's a little slow. The long snapper has a slow delivery. It's a wobbly snap. That was low. And that punter, it takes time to get them laces spread out. And by the time he got ready to kick the football, he was under pressure. And the Ohio Wesleyan is going to get a free two points here. And then they're going to get the football back uh, to start this fourth quarter. Unbelievable, Steve. Eight, maybe. Eight. Yeah, that's what I thought so, too. So... 
It looks like freshman corner Cam Jones, number eight, got back there to block it, or it was it could have been the quarterback, the freshman quarterback, Junior Velasquez, but probably Cam Jones gets that the blocks the football. So the score goes up to 16 to 10 now, and not only that, but then they, they still got to give you the ball too. So it's two points and the ball. So, boy, special teams, Charlie. Dialing Bishop's special teams is just bailing them out right and left. Boy, unreal. Unbelievable. All, all day long through the punt, you know, the punts we've seen, mm -hmm. you know, the punt coverage, the, the return of the mm -hmm. kickoff. Yeah, the Trey Dixon's the, back there. Uh, I'd like to see crazy. him get his hands on the ball right now. Yeah, I would too. All right, so here comes the free kick, actually a free punt from the 20. Oh, and it's a low punt, Charlie. It's going to hit at the 30. That's Gabriel Miller. Gets it out to the 40. 45, waits for a hole, 50. They're going to have great field position. Yeah, Gabe Miller, sure-handed, picks up that squib kick. He sure was. Waited for his blockers a little bit, kind of secured that football. He did a great job, and, and wow, what's, what good field position here to start this fourth quarter for Ohio Wesleyan. I tell you what, man, I, you know, 15 minutes is a long time in a football <laughs> game, but if you can get a touchdown, eat some clock, and get on this drive, I think you kind of take some wind out of the Denison sales. So an update on that Penn State game, Charlie. About 10 minutes to go and six minutes, six minutes to go. It's 31-19. Minnesota's ahead. Bishops need a score here. Let's see. They give it to Trey Dixon. Boy, he fired through that hole. Man, he got his knees taken out, and they're going to give him only two yards on that. Man, he fired through the hole. Yes, he did. Oof. He took a hit on the knees. And they fired him right back. <laughs> <laughs> sure did. That was 18. Uh, Andrew Smith, a linebacker. Man, that's, that's you're going to feel that one. Whew, the middle linebacker for Denison said no way. Yeah. Bishop's going to go quick here. Second down and eight. Reese will give. No fake. Yep, he'll go. Give it to Dixon. He'll go back. He's got a man open. He throws it deep. It's the flea flicker. And they complete down to the 10-yard line to Justin Lowry. Coach Watts pulling out all the stops today. First of all, great job by Zane Oof, Reese. No kidding. To get that flea, the, the flick back. Yep. And then a wide open receiver. He laid it out there and let his receiver make a nice play. And here we go. Boy, they fooled everybody, Charlie. I thought it was another run by Trey Dixon. And he turned around and throws it back to the quarterback. And if he could have, if it was had the wind at his back, that would have been a touchdown. But Lowry had to wait for it. But still, it gets it down to the 10. I was going to say, I feel like if the Bishops can score here, even a field goal, I mean, Denison does not have a quick strike offense. They do not. Yeah, I mean, uh, they're going to have to. But here, the main thing here is don't turn the football over. You can run it here a little bit. Trey Dixon. Clock and mm. uh, uh, Denison's defense is stout. We know that. But uh, you can, you know, you can kill a little bit of clock here in a worst-case scenario. Mm -hmm. Come field away goal. with a field goal and make us a two-possession ball game. Yeah, it'll be a, it would be a short field goal attempt, but it, it is into that stiff wind, stiff breeze coming out of the south. Bishops going into the wind, so late substitutions for the bishops, but they still have 18 seconds on that field clock. They got a wildcat. Uh, they got. They do got a wildcat, wildcat, Charlie. Sesma will take it. He'll give it to Curtis Durant. No, he'll keep it. Sesma. Oh, oh, oh man. He had one man to beat, and that was a sure tackle by Dennison. Number five comes up. That is, uh, I want to look up his name a second, but that is, I want to make sure I say it right, Negrete. Chris Negrete makes a great open field yeah, tackle. Yeah, great job by Negrete. It's a good thing he had it because there was daylight there. For, uh, They're going to do Wildcat again here, Charlie. Second down, no third and goal. This time he'll give it to the tailback, and he'll get hit, and down to the five-yard line goes Carlos Cintron. Yeah, you know, and I... I kind of like the conservative approach here. A touchdown would be nice, but also if you don't come away with at least three here, you felt, you know, mm -hmm. you feel like you've been defeated here. But uh, try that wildcat. You never know. And he That's was right. one block away there on second down yeah, from breaking the down. Negrete doesn't make that open field tackle. That is a touchdown. Sesma read it perfectly. So this will be, they're going to set it down at, at 11. So it's a 21-yard um, field goal attempt, but he's got a bad angle kind of, Charlie. He's going to have to angle it to the left right. and into that stiff breeze coming out of the south. So this is not a give me. They're going to actually put it down about a 22-yarder. Anthony Sanfilippo, the three-year letterman, senior kicker. Ball is down. The kick is up. Plenty of leg. And he kicks it through. Wow. Nice job, Anthony Sanfilippo. Senior. Drills it through the uprights, and uh, we got a two-possession ball game here with 12 minutes to go at Selby. In this second half, Steve, you know, the first half was kind of boring. We ain't going to lie about it. This second <laughs> half, is, we've seen a little bit of everything here. 
Uh, great job by Ohio Wesleyan offensively. They had to do something, and sometimes as a coach, you may have to call a flea flicker. Mm-hmm. You know, you may have to pull out all the stops here to jumpstart your offense. You know, now Coach Hayden, man, he's kind of got to get out of his comfort level a little bit. I, you know. I Wesley and be content to let him run the ball eight times for 60 yards and then settle for a field goal. Uh, if you're Denison, yep. you're like, wow, our they passing need, game is shaky right now. And they do need two scores, right? Even a touchdown and an extra point only, or a two-point conversion only gives them eight. So they got to score twice in the 11:59, and they've, they've only got ten points to show for the game so far. Right. Uh, so now if you're Bishops, you can kind of play back a little bit defensively too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the you know the balls in and their their court finally. You know they finally got to where they can. So this uh, is the third quarter stats. Alex Minton, 34 carries, 225 yards. My goodness, Alex Minton, uh, he's he, he's been they're all everything today, and uh, you know we're gonna see. Obviously, we're gonna see more of him. Uh, uh, look to maybe get him out and dump the ball out on the passing game to him right. and get his legs moving. So Peyton Vining tries the extra point attempt, and it looks like that's Marty Sesma got down there first for the Bishops and trips him up. And they got to start at their 25, so they got to go the full length of the field. I just, so I tell you, you give up 225 yards rushing, it's it's hard to win a football game, you know. <laughs> yeah, it really is. It defies the laws of everything. You know, averages here, but. Uh, Hey, there's a lot of football left. Uh, it sure is. 11.55, plenty of time. You just don't want to get complacent. Right. First and 10. Dawkins taking his time. He'll take the snap. He is going to pass. Here comes Kyle Hogan from the backside. Didn't see him. He'll try to hit Biddle, and Biddle catches it, but he is open field tackle by Shane Quinn. Takes him down. No gain. Uh, some good pressure off the end here. I didn't catch the number. Yeah, that was Kyle Hogan, 92. Kyle Hogan, you said it. Kyle Hogan, uh, nice swim move off the left tackle. It was. Another split second, and Mr. Dawkins would have uh, yeah, landed on his back or a sure. fumble uh, you know, on the play. They'll keep up the pressure if you're, you know, that front four for a high west land. So Bishops can stay too deep with their safeties. They'll, they'll give him two yards on that for Biddle. So second and eight. Clock is running, 11.15 to go. Dawkins will pass again. He's going to looking for a Biddle again. He fires it out. He catches it at the 30. They'll pin him in, and he gets tripped up, still going out to the 42, 43-yard line. Nice job by Biddle to keep running. And one of the bishops, Mario DeJoy, comes up limping, and Ryan Rubel will check in. Yeah, nice job by the, the receiver on that play. I thought they had him hemmed up, and, and he made a couple nice moves there and really got a nice game around the play. I'd like to give Ryan Rubel some credit as the um, senior. You know, he was going in for the injured player, but he first helped Mario DeJoy get off the field, and then he went out and took his spot. 26, 31-26, Penn State scores with about three minutes to go. Back to action here. Dawkins will pass. He's got time. He fires it deep for Vining, and he is just barely out of bounds. Riddle never saw the ball. Boy, I don't know where, how that would go on instant replay, Charlie, because it was close. Yeah, Ian Riddle, when you're out there on an island playing one-on-one, the best, the best, your best friend's the uh, boundary. Side, that's right. It's the boundary, and he played it excellent. It was a nice, nice throw by Dawkins, and, and but just a little bit out of bounds there. So, yep, I'm gonna watch that. Second down. I'm going to watch the instant replay, Charlie. Keep talking. Yeah, second down, expect more. No. Uh, expect a little more of what you just saw there. I think uh, Dennison's getting a little antsy here. On the instant replay, Vining definitely had a foot. His first foot was out of bounds, so he did not catch it. So second and ten, lots of time for Dawkins. He overthrows his man, almost intercepted again. Both Heidel and Cole Nixon both had a sh- chance at that football, Charlie. Yeah, Drew Dawkins. He's had time in the pocket for the most part, and when he starts getting antsy in that pocket, you see his feet start chopping, and he mm-hmm. starts patting that football. And you so, know, he's definitely got an arm. He's just missing just by a little bit. Yeah, he was at the end of the third quarter. He was eight for 24 passing, two interceptions, 126 yards. So the run game has been there. Minton with 225 yards rushing. So third and ten, a big play for the Bishops here, Charlie. Yeah, definitely a big play here. They're just rushing three. Uh, Dawkins rolls out and incomplete. He had double through into double coverage. Nice job by 10. And let's see who else gets up there. It looks like six for the Bishops. That's um, Lucas Cooper, the junior linebacker, and 10, Ryan Rubel. 
Yeah, Lucas Cooper, Ryan Rubel, they kind of double teamed that receiver and uh, Dawkins said, I'm forcing it in there. And, you know, somebody got their hand in there and it was a nice play and it's too early, you know, too early if you're going to send it, even think about going, going for it. But as this clock starts to become a factor, look, you know, look for more four down territory for Denison. So, but this, the Denison will have to punt, and again, he just barely gets it off. It was a wobbly, and Heidel will let it roll when it go out of bounds at the nine. So, nice punt, <laughs> even though he had a hurry. Nice punt by Calvin Montgomery. Yeah, Calvin Montgomery. <laughs> you could just see his body language. <laughs> I am not going to get another punt block, and he he quick stepped it and got rid of it. And before he was taking these good old sweet time, and, and you know, twice now I Wesley's blocked these punts, but. You know, Ohio Westland's pen deep. Uh, no better time for about a 12 play. Yeah. You know, 90 plus yards drive here. Eat up about five or six minutes here. And come away with some points. So, my point is here Ohio, it's Ohio's Westland's game to win here. Yes, they right. can control their destiny. They sure right can. Yep. 10 19 to go. First and 10 from the 10. Man in motion his chalk in and they will give it to 21 he'll try the middle he'll get about three yards and that goes to uh, carlos cintron senior running back and yeah a positive yards on first down uh, that, that kind of delayed draw play there hasn't really worked for much but it's been something positive it does but the only thing good it does, it got two yards and it keeps the clock running. It will go down to 9.50 to go here in the fourth quarter. Denison needs two scores of some kind, you know, a touchdown at least and a field goal uh, to, to get back in this thing. So Bishops want to keep that clock running and they obviously like to keep the ball. Second down and eight. Man coming in motion is Chalankian, and Reese will take it. He will give it to Cintron up the middle again, and he'll dive forward, and it gets his feet taken out, but not before he gets three yards. And that middle linebacker for Dennison, but, man, he does not miss. Andrew Smith, number 18, Charlie. Yeah, Andrew Smith, uh, he's a great tackler. He's been making good open field tackles all day. Uh, I I seen a little hole pop out there. Yeah. I thought, man, if he could dodge that first tackle, nope. or, uh, he, he's got some running room, but uh, give credit, Andrew, credit to the Denison defense. Yeah, Andrew Smith does not. not miss, and then when he hits you, you go down, too. It's not like you're able to keep your feet going and pick up a couple more yards. So huge play for the Bishops from their own 15-yard line. Third down and five, 8.50 to go. Clock's running. Reese will take. He'll give it to the running back up the middle, and he'll be slammed down for a loss of one. So Bishops go conservative, but then they also go three and out. Yeah, conservative. That's the that's you know that's the word. That's the word to come to my mind. Uh, yeah, but you got a nine point lead. You know, it's it's in the fourth quarter. It's not such a bad thing. But uh, again, that was 59 for Denison. Uh, Nate Kern came in from his defensive end position and slams him down for a yard loss. Right. So you've heard us call Nate Kern's name early in the. In the first half, quite early and often, not so much the second half, but he's still been a factor throughout. So Heidel will have to punt into the wind, and he's doing a great job of letting that clock keep running. Great, again, a nice uh, senior move by Nick Heidel. It's the, the field clock, 4-3. Here's the ball, the snap, and he boots it low line drive. That'll be hard to return, but and he'll be scooped up, but he'll be slammed down. That's exactly the kind of punt you want into the wind. And uh, Francis Faye couldn't really do anything with the ball because it was a low wobbler. Right. Uh, Nick Heidel's been able to flip the field throughout mm -hmm. the day with his punts. But, you know, with this wind, it's pretty stiff out there. Sure and, is. Uh, you know, if you're high western, you'll take that. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you'll take that all day long. The defense got to come up big now. Right. 7.54. So Denniston does have good field position on the 47-yard line. So the punting on last possession didn't really cost them about maybe two minutes on the, the clock. So they will go Minchin up the middle, and he will pound, and he'll get hit, and he'll get slammed down, but he'll get six yards. Yeah, and I think Ohio Westland's all right with that. They really I, are. I really think they're okay with that grind it out, kill the clock. They're in the driver's seat now. Mm -hmm. You know, with the two-possession game, they'll take that all day long. You just got to, when it gets close to that red zone, they may have to, you know, read run a little quicker. Alex Minton is going to be approaching 40 carries by the end of this game. I mean, he had 34 at the end of the third quarter. So he gets six there, second and four. Bishop showing blitz. They'll give it to Minton to the far right side. Another big hole, and they trip him up, and he'll get about five yards. Why are we stomping the clock? 
A possible first down, uh, I'm guessing. Oh, so it's close to a first down. I mean, it's clear from where we're sitting, Charlie. It is yeah. a first down. No reason okay. to stop the clock. Get that thing running. Right. There it goes. 7.13 to go in the fourth quarter. Everybody in uh, Selby here on the Wesleyan side is looking at that clock. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they can't. Seven minutes is an eternity in a football game. It really is. First and 10 from the 37. Dawkins in that shotgun. Again, taking his time. Clock's running. He's going to pass. He's got his man open. There's Biddle again, and he dropped it. Wow. Well, that's one way to stop the clock. Hunter Biddle wide open. Let's Drops the ball. Yeah, he had some room to run there. He mm-hmm. just, you know, he tried to run before he caught the football. It took his eyes off of it. Nice pass by Dawkins. That's one of the few nice passes we've seen here in the second half out of him. Second down and 10. Well, there's some tension in the stadium. 6.49 to go. Yeah. It, it, if I'm if I'm Dennison, Peyton, Vining, mm-hmm. my big-time receiver, it's time yep. to, for him to, you know. It looks like they got two guys on him, though, Charlie. Right here, 12 is in the slot, and they get double coverage. So they there's a Bishop defense thinking the same thing. Yeah, I mean, that's good scheme by his high West. Second and 10. Dawkins looks that way, looks right. Now he's going to try to scramble. Can they get him down? No, they trip him up, and then they throw him down. And he'll lose two yards on that running play, which keeps the clock going. Nice job by the Bishop defense to hem him in. All right, I think Kyle Hogan, number 92 was the first one to kind of get around his feet there and make him get out of that pocket. Mm-hmm. Ohio Wesleyan defense, I've got to give them credit all day long. They really have come up big. Third and 11, 623. Oof, boy, the Denison not showing any sense of urgency at all. Hawkins yeah. taking his time. He's got his men up there. And he's going to look around. They're all communicating with his receivers. Third and 11. He'll take the snap. He will throw. He does have time. He dances. He's in trouble. He dances some more. He rolls to his left. He's in trouble. There's nobody open. He's going to try to scramble for it. And they chase him out of bounds. He stops the clock, but he gets out at the 35. Only a gain of about two. Cody Strait, uh, you know, been chasing Mr. Dead. Dawkins all day. And, and on top of that, he's been tackling, you know, Alex Minton 40 times. And, uh, Boy, his effort just can't go unnoticed today. So this is his four-down territory. Denison keeps their offense out there with 552. They got no choice. Fourth and nine from the 36-yard line. Hey, you get a stop here. Uh, you can control your own destiny. You sure can. Big play. Defense. The stadium comes alive on the Bishop side. Rockins in the shotgun. And Bishops are a little confused defensively, so that gives Dawkins time. He's going to fire it out. He's got a man wide open. Oh, and he drops it again. Ho, 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 Bishops. Big play. Ryan Rubel is there to knock it free, and Bishops get the football. Wow, I tell you what, the only thing I can say is it's been Ohio Wesleyan's day today. Uh, Sometimes it's great to be a battling Bishop, and Dawkins had his receiver wide open right there. If he catches that football, we're looking at a two-point ball game. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Boy, Bishop's very fortunate. Boy, Dawkins was on the money that time and delivered a strike, and the receiver unable to come up with it, and Bishop at football. I almost said basketball. Right. You said, you said, all right, they look confused, and I thought maybe we'd see a timeout, but hey, they held and first down uh, Bishops. So I think Bishops run this clock, right, Charlie? No, they're going to throw. There's Chalaki, and he catches it. He's got some blockers, and he does not want to go out of bounds, but he does. Right. Well, you know, with three timeouts, and, and if you're very conservative for the most part, uh, you only run off 40 seconds off this clock. and uh, So Sassoon Chalaki, number 10, gets four yards on it, but worst, worst thing, he does stop yeah. the clock. But yeah. he still gets four yards, so they bring up second and six. I like the aggressiveness from the Bishop offense. And I do, too. And, uh, you know, with with these three timeouts and, uh, you know, five minutes, we've said seven minutes is eternity, five minutes is eternity. It here. really is. Reese will give to Cintron, and he try to strip the ball. And Cintron does a nice job, Charlie, of picking up two yards. And again, some extracurriculars after the play. And then, I don't know what's happening here. Officials time out. What you don't want to see, if you're high west and we have a player down, and we respect that. Mm-hmm. Cintron's built low to the ground, you know. He's good, one of them good inside runners. Uh, officials stop the timeout here, and... Uh, Kind of get a free time out here if you're Dennis. Well, you sure do, but Bishops do too. A huge play. So Cintron picks up about two yards. So it's third and four. 
Third and four, Bishops want to get that first down and keep the clock running. Dennison wants to stop them and get the ball back. And the clock should start. It's 448 right now. It should start once the injured player does get off the field. It should start up again. Right. And the Bishops will have the full 40 seconds before they have to run the play, too. Right. They can run this thing down to right around 410, 49. Uh, what do you do here, Steve? What do you do here? <laughs> I was going to ask you, Charlie. Come on, man. I, uh, oh. What I do... Mm. Hey, it, he appears to be fine. He <laughs> He's moving well. Uh, he is moving very well. I get it. I get it. Well, uh, that's good now, to see. He's not hurt. If you're the offensive coordinator for High Wesley, they're thinking you're going to run it. Yeah. You know, they're, they're going to play the run, that inside handoff. They're probably not going to call a timeout. Right. They might. Uh, I'm throwing a football. Yeah. I, I'm throwing a five-yard out and, and, and uh, moving the chains here. That, that's that's me, but I'm not an offensive coordinator. Nope. Clock starts back up, Charlie. Okay. So the, the Bishop's staying in the huddle. Good good play by them. Yeah. There's no reason to break that huddle. No, good call on that one, Steve. Uh, you kind of read the defense, too. Maybe you take a shot here, too. Yeah, you can. You can. I'm surprised that Dennison didn't take a timeout here. It's Bishops with four receivers, so they're going to spread out that field, and we'll see what they do. Riesel takes the snap, and he will give it to Cintron, and everybody's waiting for him. And they slam him down, and he gets no gain on the play, loses a yard. Boy, five, Negrete came flying in, and so did uh, 18, Andrew Smith. So they were ready for the run. Yeah, I mean, you have to... As the defensive coordinator, you've got to sell out for the run, and, and if the offense decides not to run, then you've got to trust you, you know, your coverage of man-on-man. Uh, High Wesleyan says, we're going to take the conservative approach. There's no reason to put the ball in the air. Now, did Dennison take a timeout? I the clock, so. They must have, because the clock did stop. Yeah, that, That's good clock management by Coach Hatem. As soon as the stop, you save yourself 40 seconds here now and you know expect a all-out punt block. Uh, right. So I was going to say, why don't we throw it? Because it's going to be the same position. But at least you, by running it, you force them to use one right. of their timeouts. Right. And that may not come back on this possession, but the second possession, if there is one, that could you know, you know play a very important part of this football game. Clock management's a big part uh, of the game here. You know, sometimes you do it, and sometimes you don't have to. Uh, here comes the blitz. So I was going to say maybe watch Heidel. To, and he does get the punt off, and it's not going to go very far on that wind. It's going to hit at the 40, and, and it's going to take a bishop bounce and roll down to the 36-yard line. So Heidel does the best he can to get it off into the wind. Yeah, uh, Nick Heidel's, yeah, so far, he's, he's one of my two or three MVP votes for the game today. And... Uh, now he's got to play defense and expect to pass. You know, yeah. He's going to, you know. Well, right, because 357, Big Red need two scores with 357 to go. And Dennison's got to go 65 yards yeah. to, for a touchdown and maybe 50 yards to get, uh, 40 yards to get in field goal range with, this, with the wind at their back. But either way, they still need two scores and only have 357 to go. Again, Peyton Vining, the big-time receiver, this is where he would shine. Uh, and they look for uh, Dennison to try to get him the football. Dennison is in the spread. Bunch of receivers. Dawkins will throw. Bishop's rushing three. Strites playing a... And he's going to fire it out of bounds. So Cody Stride did a great job. He was kind of playing a spy on that quarterback, just like you said, Charlie. He's been watching them all game. Cody Stride, uh, been impressed with, impressed with him last year, the beginning of this year. And today mm -hmm. he really, uh, he's working hard out there. Good job. Good job by the Wesleyan defense there, you know. Oh, there man. was stri receiver streaking, but there was some people on the back end, uh, you know, covering them. So good job on that. All right, 349. The clock does stop on the incompletion. Second and 10. Dawkins and Minton in the backfield. Four receivers. Dawkins will throw. He's got time. There's only a three-man rush. He fires it out, and Minton did uh, Yeah, okay. Binding came out, went out of bounds and came back in, and the official, I mean, it should be a penalty because he was the first player to touch the ball after coming back. Even though he didn't catch it, he touched it. Yeah, so. I think Cole Nixon may have got his hands on that football uh, if you don't see a flag, that's the reason. But good okay. job by Cole Nixon back there, just reading the play and, and not allowing that receiver. If he would have been the first one to touch it, yeah, that's illegal touching. So uh, that does stop the clock. Sorry, Charlie, 342 to go. Second, third and 10. Obviously passing down, I guess, for Dennison, right? Third and 10. Here comes the blitz. 
And right up the middle, here comes Kyle Hogan. Dawkins rolls out. He fires, gets his man, and complete. What a toe-tapping catch by Dylan Johnson, freshman receiver. Yeah, Kyle Hogan had nice pressure, forced Dawkins out of the pocket. And, you know, Dawkins has made some nice throws, and he's had some drops. Uh, mm -hmm. He's going to have to do a whole lot more of this uh, if Denison wants to get down there and score and give themselves a chance for an onside kick. Here. Well, the clock does not stop, but it is a first down. 3.25 to go. First and 10 for the Big Red. And there's the snap. Dawkins has time. He'll be back passing. He's waiting. He's looking. He's waiting. He's dancing. He's looking. And straight runs in and forces the throw out of bounds. Yeah, good job. Uh, we've said it all day long by the West. High Wesleyan defense. They only rush three. You know, at this point, you're dropping eight back in coverage. You, you Dawkins has shifted mm -hmm. eight. And he will make bad decisions. Or can make bad decisions. Yeah, can make bad decisions. He's athletic. Uh, you know, at some point, he's got to take some shots here. Kyle Hogan took a big hit, 92, <laughs> the defensive end. He got spun around chasing the quarterback, and he spun himself right into one of those big offensive linemen who body slammed him. 3.08 to go. Second and 10 for the Big Red. Dawkins takes the snap and will pass. He's going to dance some more, and he runs out of there. He's got some room. He'll be chased down, but not before he picks up. I'll mark him down early, nine yards, but the clock keeps running. Yeah, Cody Strait, you know, the spy on the play, been doing it all day, kind of forced him to go up the middle because he knew he had help from his teammates there. They'll take that. They'll take plays like that. Third and one. Dawkins rolls to his left. Nobody open. He fires it and it's incomplete. There's Vining making a drop. Boy, how many drops does Denison have today? Yeah. How cold is it out there? It really, I bet you. That's a good point, Charlie. I did not... I'm not in that greatest of a shape, but I sprinted up this, the stadium steps to get up here. I was huffing and puffing, but I wasn't going to stay in that cold weather. So, 241, crowd comes alive, fourth and one. Yeah, we got some energy at the stadium here. This kind of conceal it here. If you if you stop them, you know, look for uh, Denison just to hand it off to Minton here, just to get the first down and then go into a, some sort of a hurry up. Boy, late play call coming in for Denison and late substitutions. They got 10 seconds still. Watch for Minton. Yep, there he goes. And he gets it. He gets five yards. Well, no, they're only going to give him three. That was probably his 55th carry. I'm exaggerating a little bit. But he gets I haven't, the I haven't seen a performance like this since the great <laughs> Earl Campbell. Back in Houston, back yeah, in the 80s. No, that's, that's the truth, Charlie. It has been a while. All right, confusion with the receivers. 229, panic setting in, sense of urgency for Dennison. Dawkins will go back to pass, and he'll look. He's got his man wide open. There's Vining, and he overthrows him again. Yeah, he actually had a, a window there to kind of put that ball in, but uh, Dawkins hasn't been able to make that pass all that long day. Pass, you know? He has not. No, that was actually, I'm sorry, Dylan Johnson. That was deep that yeah. he had a chance at. But then the incompletion does stop the clock. 2.19 to go, second and 10. Oof, nothing's easy, is it? <laughs> no, and if you're the high Wesley in defense, get your safeties back. You, yes. you don't even want to give them that window no. right now. Keep everything in the middle of the football field. Yep, they do got two safeties back this time. Second and 10. Dawkins taking his time. He will pass. He's got time. He fires it over the middle, and it is a little behind his run. He was a little behind his receiver that time, Charlie. That's a hard catch to make. Yeah, that is a hard catch, but we've, you know, we've, we've seen a lot of drops today by Dennison, and that kind of surprises us. Uh, and coming in with that record and that 200 average rushing, 200 average passing, they do a lot of things well. One thing I've noticed the chink in their armor is the they're not, they struggle to catch the football at times. So third and 10, 2.14 to go. From the 42. Taking his time, and now he'll take the snap. Here comes the rush. He fires. He's got his man wide open. Vining was wide open. Miscommunication by the Bishops, and that will um, incomplete bring up fourth down. And there's an injured Denison player, and they're going to have to stop the clock for an injury. Looks like the offensive lineman for Denison is in some pain. Right. I, I didn't see it actually what happened to him, Steve, but... You know, we mentioned Dawkins and his, uh, you know, ability to throw the ball deep. He's got a great arm. Yeah. He's got an excellent arm. And, and it makes me think of, like, when John Elway first come into the league. 
uh, his receivers complained that he threw the ball too hard to him. Yeah. yeah. And Dawkins will throw bullets, man. If he's if you're five yards away, he's throwing that thing as hard as he can. And sometimes as a receiver, that thing hits you and it's on you and it's hard to grip it. But uh, uh, big fourth down here. I mean, with two minutes to go, it's come down to this if you're Dennison. It really has. Well, good news for Dennison. The injured player got up and ran off the field, actually sprinted off the field. So good news that he's not hurt. Fourth and ten, huge play, 2.08 to go. The crowd is alive, the Bishop's sideline is alive, and they're cheering. Let's see what the Bishops can draw up. Dawkins will pass, he's under some pressure. There's a hold, no call, he throws it to his man, he catches it out of bounds. And nice job by the defender to catch him and pick him up, and he did not lie on the inbounds, Charlie. Right, but now we've got a penalty. And Two a, flags. I'm sure it's a frustration penalty against Coach Hatem or, or one of his on coaches. His, one, yeah. Somebody on that sideline, but yeah, it used to be the rule was that uh, you, if, if you caught the ball and were picked up and taken out of bounds, yeah. you get credit for that one foot down. That's changed now. And, and nice, uh, you mentioned to Steve, the Unsportsmanlike. There you go. Sorry, Charlie. Yeah. The uh, Wesleyan defender did that. Did did mm -hmm. just that. Picked him up and caught him, him out of bounds. Carried him right out of bounds. Smart play. And yep. Well, there's still 2:01 to go, Charlie. And man, they're going to move it a bunch. Yeah. Uh, and you know, if there was replay, yeah. which we have, uh, there may have been a toe tap there. I don't know. But uh, either way, there's not in, in D3 football. Ohio Wesleyan has got a first and ten. They got two minutes to kill. Denison's down to two timeouts. Two still. timeouts, so they can stop the clock, so to speak, a little bit. But you know, if you're Ohio Wesleyan, uh, all you do is just that. You you grind it out. And uh, that's a great run, Charlie. 21. That's uh, Clinton Cintron. Yeah. Carlos Cintron, excuse me. And another timeout, so that forces Dennison to use a timeout, but Carlos gets about four yards on that power run up the middle to protect that football. Wow, good job by the guys up front. They've struggled today, you know, with that Dennison defensive line. They struggled to open up holes, but, you know, they smell blood, and Coach Watts, uh, you know, you know, if a high west end does, you know, barring some miracle, come out here with a W, he, he's got to be just uh, smiling oh my from ear to ear uh, with the way his team played today. Well, special teams tells the story, Charlie. Two block punts, one kick return for a touchdown. Uh, one of the block punts goes out of the end zone, so there's nine points right there. And then the other block punt set up the, the Bishop touchdown pass early in the game yes, for the 19-yard pass from Reese to Lowry. So special teams, Charlie. Yeah, special teams. I'm not sure who the special teams coach is for a high wrestling, but mm -hmm. hey, they might want to flip him a couple extra bills. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no well, he there. earned his money today, yes, Charlie. You, he you got him, that right. He's had him coached up, and it's been a difference in this ball game. So second and six, Dennison only one timeout, 155 to go. Bishops will run it to protect that football. Man, he got submarine. He gets so hard. Andrew Smith, that linebacker, 18. Man, that has to hurt. Yeah, and uh, I think that hurt him, him more than uh, the. Uh, Ball carrier Andrew Smith's been in a lot of tackles, and he's going to have to come out of the football game. Yeah, he took a big hit, but he's uh, the clock should still be running. I don't know. The Denison Denison must have used their last time out. Okay, think, they I have think they to. They used their last time out, uh, and I think I mentioned it was seven minutes to go. Seven minutes to go in a college football game is an eternity, and that mm -hmm. was 45 minutes ago. So, and we still got a minute 49 to go here, Steve. But. Uh, you know, uh, i got to give a lot of credit to Ohio Wesley and the football team today. Yep. Yes, me too, Charlie. Uh, me too. It just wow. felt like they were. it was a slow death, and it really it, it was, but the special teams bailed them out. Yes, sir. Uh, so, Dennison, no timeouts left, 149. If you're the Bishops, you have to run here, you know, to make them to, to chew up the clock. Yeah. You know, worst case, you don't get it, and you take a delay to move your punter back, and you pin them with – down at the 10-yard line, and then you make them methodically move the football. When you tell your running back, hold that ball. Don't care what happens. Just hang on to the football. They're going to try the outside. First and foremost. Oof, he was flying around in there. <laughs> that football everywhere. But it just still does the job. And... Uh, I think was it was that Centron again? Yeah, it uh, was. A great take comes up and makes the tackle. Number five, the defensive back. And that'll bring up fourth and five. The clock is going to run down. Bishops can run it all the way down to 101, Charlie, before they take a timeout. 
Yeah, they make it, may take a timeout and probably will just to make sure they're on the same page. They could take a delay penalty. They sure. call a timeout yeah. to give some more room. Heck, they might even want to try that fake punt. <laughs> it looks like it could have worked all day. <laughs> if Dennis wants to give it to them, you know, or no. Yeah, we can, uh, you know, we can laugh and have a good time here because mm -hmm. the high Wesleyan is winning. But I tell you what, Denison's a good football team. Oh, my heavens, Charlie. You're not kidding. They are a good football team. And if your coach uh, hate them, and this, and then this ends up being a loss because I don't want to speak you know, out of line before this game's really been decided. But Coach Hatem, uh, he's not going to get much sleep tonight. No. Nope. You know? Look at that Ohio State score, Charlie. Oh, my goodness. 73 to 14. That's, uh, they put up as much as the basketball team. Yes, uh, they did. Unbelievable. Number one in the country, and, and rightly so. And rightly so as a Buckeye fan. I don't like that number one tag. I don't mm -hmm. like that number one label. It just... The bullseye's a little bigger when you're number one. But they're legit. They're, they're good. They're a good football team. Ryan Day's got them playing at a high level. So Coach Watts does take that five-yard penalty. He does not use a timeout. Here's the punt. Here it comes. And Heidel does get it off. It goes off the side of his foot. And it still finds a way to roll down inside the 20. Yeah. It was probably not his best punt of the day, but it still does the job. Right. Anything to kill the clock. And, mm -hmm. you know, that's a long field. And... You know, anything can happen. We've, we're old enough now to oh see goodness, in sports Charlie. that anything can happen. Uh, <laughs> you only bring our age into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, be smart about this yeah. defensively. Get uh, everybody back. Right. You want them to, they got 48 seconds, no timeouts. You want them to earn everything. Don't give them anything easy. Right. Yeah, you still have to kind of move this, pressure him a little bit, make him move, because when he's moving, he ain't as good as when he's uh, – comfortable in that pocket. There you go. All right. So Dawkins will roll. Here comes Kyle Hogan. He got around there. Oh, he mo he misses. And then Dawkins is going to throw it out of bounds. Kyle Hogan with the pressure off that right in. And he has been a nightmare for the left tackle for Dennison. Yeah, he has. Oh, he was on that goodness. play. So uh, that, clock, that play took eight seconds off the clock. Takes it down to 40.5 seconds to go. Yeah, Frank Zoltan, 71, has had his hands full today. With the Kyle Hogan. Get my uh, statistics here in order. Here we go. So coming into the game, Denison six and one in the NCAC, and the Bishops five and two. So we'll we'll see what happens because there's still 40 seconds to go. Like you said, Charlie, anything can happen. Touchdown and an onside kick, and you're right back in this. So Dawkins will throw. He's got time. He fires it out to the right and connected to his man. That's a new receiver. That's number nine, Josh Aiello, white freshman wide receiver from Lexington, Ohio. Nice pass by Dawkins. Stepped up and threw it. He did. He put it right on the money. Laser. Oof. That is one of his best throws of the day. He moves it out to the 34-yard line with 34 seconds to go. First and 10 for Dennison. Nice catch for the freshman. Dawkins will have some time. He'll step it up. He'll fire it across the middle and off of the hands of Vining again. Vining heard some footsteps in the middle of the field. He kind of alligator rummed it. And then he got hit, too. He got hit anyways. <laughs> well, I've always said if you're going to get hit, you might as well catch it and get credit for it. But he, he didn't want no part of that. I bring up second and 10. 28.8 seconds on the clock from the 34-yard line. That play took about six seconds. Yeah, i got to give some credit to a big 77 uh, nose guard mm -hmm. for Mikhail Kalik for a high wrestling. He's played a really good game. Yes, he has. He's had his hands full with uh, Alex Minton all day, and, and he's still chasing the quarterback at a high level here. Dawkins, three-man rush. Here they come. He's got some time. He'll roll to his right. Here comes Strait. He'll fire it up and fire it out of bounds. Looks like Strait got a hit on Dawkins there at the end, too, Charlie. Yeah, yeah he did. He caused, you know. Pressure on the quarterback is priceless. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day here, um, Drew Dawkins, number eight quarterback for Denison, is going to look back and say, you know what, that Wesleyan defense mm -hmm. uh, drove me crazy today. They got just enough pressure on me and made me uncomfortable. But their back end kind of confused me a little bit with their coverages. And he's, he hasn't had a real good day today. 21 seconds to go, third and 10 for Dawkins. Taking his time again. 
Here comes the three-man rush. He'll fire it, and Biddle catches it, and he'll get open field tackle, and that's a gain of zero. Ryan Rubel, what a tackle, Charlie. Ryan Rubel, form tackle, wrap Ooh, up yes, and grab them legs and uh, drive him to the ground, and now the clock uh, is... Clock's running, fourth and nine. Four seconds to go. This should be the last play, unless there's a penalty, and he's going to throw it out to his man, and it's going to be caught. The clock's at zero. Just take him down in the open field. Don't let him pitch it. <laughs> Cody Strite says, I'll get a piece of that action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you don't want to, you're Josh Aiello. You need to get down, buddy. You don't right. want to be straight getting a shot at you. Hey, what a win for the battling bishops, Charlie. Wow. 19 to 10. Amazing. Great win for the bishops. I tell you what, and that puts him up there in a tie with Denison in the league uh, with wins with the Ohio Wesleyan owning the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. It's kind of an odd ball game today. Oh my, it, it, really, really, it, really, it really was, Steve. Uh, Man, it was so painful because the Denison had the ball the entire game, you know, and it just was oh, exhausting. Yeah. But the Bishops made the plays. You what you said, Charlie. You said they need to make a big play somewhere. Yeah. And the Bishops actually had three big plays with those um, with their special teams. Yeah, special teams, uh, three phases of the game: offense, defense, and special teams. And you know, Ohio Western's offense. It will be the first to tell you they had no answer for the Denison defense, whether through the run with the pass. Whatever, they, they wasn't moving the football. So you have to find other ways for your football team to, uh, you know, score score points. Right. And, uh, you know, the, you mentioned special teams, and, and, and you've got a collection of stuff there of how Wesleyan scored and everything's, uh, you know, attached to the way the special teams was today with the punts, uh, the block punts and the kick returns and, you know, stuff like that. So, good, great job. Uh, this is huge. This is a huge win for the Bishops. Coach Watts, I'm sure, is uh, just ha uh, beyond happy. Yeah, you got to be. You got to be. So the battle bring the Bishops to six and two in the conference, seven and two overall. And it'll tie them with Denison at six and two overall. So it waits to see how Wabash Wabash was six and one and Den Wittenberg five and two. So we'll have to see how their games ended up today to know where everything's going to fall. But it at least should move the Bishops into a tie for first. Yeah. And uh, where they did the job, Charlie. So let's just talk about the special teams. Uh, blocked punt early in the second or late in the second quarter led to a 19. A touchdown pass from Reese to Lowry. Start the third quarter, we're waiting for some big things, and Trey Dixon delivers a 90-yard kickoff return to make it 14 to 10 bishops. And then in the, early in the fourth quarter, another blocked punt to make it 16 to 10, and they got the safety out of that. And then Anthony Sanfilippo gets the 22-yard field goal to end the scoring for the bishops. Yeah, bend, bend but don't break defense. <laughs> you know, we, we, you know, we were up here watching this uh, Mr. Alex Minton just kind of plow and have his way with the mm -hmm. Bishop defense. But, you know, Coach watches philosophy, and i got to give him credit. He's got a lot of patience. You know, he, he went with the, we'll let you grind it out. We don't want this athletic quarterback running the football. Right. And, and Throwing on us. Throwing on us because he's got a good arm, even though he was off a little bit today. Uh, uh, you could see his capabilities. Uh, you've seen glimpses of him really being a good football player. But, uh, yep. hey, they did what they had to do to win the game. At senior day, veterans, you know, you know we took time out and honored the veterans. Yep. Everything... Uh, you know, everything was going the uh, High Westlands way today, Steve. So sure was. Congratulations to the battling bishops today and then moving forward. Sure was. So the bishops end the game with a 19 to 10 win. The, the bishops, another tough one next week. They will travel to Wittenberg. And it's always <laughs> the always tough place to well, win, uh, yeah. to play Wittenberg. You know, you and I played there plenty in our careers, basketball-wise. But, man, you know, basketball, football, it doesn't matter. That's a tough place to go play. Right. Well, I think me and you called the game here last year yeah. against Wittenberg. Mm -hmm. And they're the real deal. They're solid offense. Yep. They're solid defense. Yep. They got a good quarter. They're much like Denison. It sure is. Uh, Denison yep. made just enough mistakes today yep. to, to kind of help a Wesleyan out. But, you know, you can't count on that. If you're Coach Watts, you can't. 
can't count on going down to Wittenberg and thinking they're going to have several penalties and they're going to have mm -hmm. uh, hiccups on the special teams and then that your offense doesn't have to do anything to win the football game. That's right. That's right. And, you know, the penalties, we do need to mention that, Charlie, because at, at the end of the third quarter, uh, the at that time, even before the fourth quarter, Denison had 10 penalties for 83 yards. I'm trying to think about the fourth quarter. I can't really remember any except for the one unsportsmanlike yeah. that they had. So they had at least 11 penalties. So that's not, you know, that's not winning football either. Right, Coach Hatem, he'll he'll go back and look at the film, and you know he'll be frustrated. We've mentioned that. I've mentioned that off and on today. <clears throat> about how Coach Hatem's going to take this game. So, you know, he might take this film and then just throw it in the right in the trash can, <laughs> you know, because this is not really his football team. But, again, we don't want to, you know, we don't want to take away any credit from Ohio Wesley, and they, they did what they had to do. Yes, they did. Uh, to win the football game, and that's a big win for them, and we're very proud of them right now. Sure are, Charlie. Sure are. What a game. What a great game for the Bishops. Uh, and their, um, for their seniors at home, the last home game of the season. Yeah. And and to come out with the win over Denison, to go 19 and to win 19 to 10, to go six and two in the conference, yeah, very impressive. Yeah. Very impressive. So ooh, that'll end us for us today. I hope that you will join us on Tuesday. We got a women's home basketball game. Ohio Wesleyan basketball win, women's wow. start on Tuesday. The home home opener for the women against Mount Union. I believe yeah. it's a seven o'clock tip. So join us on that call. We'll be there. And, uh, Charlie, just thanks so much for everything. Right, it's great you having you here today, Charlie Beaver, on the, the color today. Uh, last thoughts there, Charlie? Well, you know, uh, uh, Wesley, and, you know, if I was going to Vegas and I was going to put the farm <laughs> on the team to win today, I, I, you know, I, I'm sorry, but I, I would have probably put it on Dennis. Well, if you look at the stats, Charlie, you know, coming in, they had everything. You know, they had all those guys at the top of the league and running, yeah. sacks, touchdowns, catching, everything. But we mentioned – you know, early that the strength of this football team, mm -hmm. Steve, is the defense, sure. the defensive side of the football. We've seen that week one. We've seen that throughout the season. And when you've got a good defense, you know, they say defense wins championships. And you kind of you yep, kind of sure see, can. you know, you kind of see what a good defense does for your football team. It gives you a chance. So uh, just just happy for the Bishops, happy for Coach Watt. Want to wish them luck moving forward. We'll, we'll follow them, you know, throughout these last couple of weeks. And mm -hmm. you never know how the playoffs are going to fall. I don't know if they're still hanging in there, waiting for a bid. Or, I, I know they have to win out, and that could happen. They're sure, good absolutely. enough for that to yeah. happen. But, uh, hey, it's a great day to be a, to be a bishop here in Selby, and, uh, and you know, uh, l let's enjoy the rest of the day here. Well, that sounds great. All right, for Charlie Beaver, I'm Steve Geiger. Have a good night, everybody.